Welcome to the Crofton Warrior Podcast, the only podcast. I'm Jack. I'm Zach. I'm Miss Hanson. Quinlan is writing an article right now, so rip. Shucks. Anywho, Christmas time. It is Christmas time. Merry, merry, Christmas merry, time merry. I miss you. Merry <gasps> Christmas, boys and girls, and all who are on the nice list. Hey, all you presents and mistletoes. Randolph the Reindeer is here to give you a table of contents for the episode because a day after recording this, Jack got his wisdom teeth kicked out by Santa Claus, so he can't talk. As you may notice, this episode is longer than the production line in Santa's workshop, so I'm going to have to give you some time stamps. The interview I'm interrupting, the one with Zach and Miss Hansen, gets done in about 44 minutes, so if you want to listen to them, just listen to them. Then we interview Sophia about all sorts of Christmas wonders and joys. That ends at about an hour and two minutes. So then after that, like the Thanksgiving one, where we were in and it was a live studio audience. That one's a real treat. You might even say a gift. Anywho, that's it. We had a good time. You have a good Christmas! That'll work. Oh, we'll get her done. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a lot comfier than than your average chair mm-hmm. in the choir room. Mm-hmm. Well, Feels less interrogatory. Yeah, it does. We're by a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's very festive. I think the last time, or the, at least the first time you had me on the podcast, there was like one light. Yeah, on we above made us. it. We made it really dim, and mm-hmm. the, it was <laughs> we called it the interrogation room. <laughs> called it the square table of dim lighting. Yep. Anywho, Miss <laughs> Hanson. Mm-hmm. What will you be doing on Christmas Day? Um, celebrating Christmas. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, yes. Where do you celebrate Christmas? Um, we celebrate with my mom's side of the family in Iowa, Superior Midwest State. <clears throat> I saw that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm-hmm. Christmas, so we have to be nice. No. <gasps> this is fun no, for don't. a change. We I don't like have this. to be nice. It's cri- I don't know. Christmas is a time of anger and frustration. <laughs> you ever been to a family gathering? <laughs> the goal is to get coal every year. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Well, okay. Realistically, if you're bad, if your family's like poor or something and you're lighting a fire for heat, you should be bad and then Santa will give you coal. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know? Tracks. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It would be very nice. Zach, what do you do for Christmas? Um, I'm going to Omaha. Papillion? Family. Papillion, yeah. Yeah, we learned from yes. the Thanksgiving episode that it's I hope you listen to, Miss Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to all your episodes. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Where are you going, Zach? You going to Papillion? The yes, province of for Omaha? the province of Omaha. And then I'm going to... Uh, and then I come back and have my family Christmas on Christmas Eve. I was going to work Christmas Eve, believe it or not, pushing carts at Walmart. Walmart, yeah. But I said no, no to that. And I told him, I'm you not doing gotten, that. You could have gotten like a holiday bonus or something. I'm not do- I don't care. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I love my family. So I took that off. Some Good people love you. Walmart, though. Shouldn't on Christmas Eve. They should be with their family, not at Walmart. <laughs> or the opposite. Last minute gifts. Last minute gifts from Walmart. I feel I, like we're always getting food on Christmas Eve. It's like last minute things we didn't plan ahead oh, for. Oh, yeah. We don't go to Walmart, but. That's why I'm not working. Just in case if there's people. <laughs> in case there's a swarm work. of people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. How have previous Christmases been for you, Zach? Have you ever had a good I love Christmas. Christmas? Have you ever what? had a bad Christmas? No, uh, I don't think bad so. Bad mom's Christmas? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm one okay, I'm gonna get it out of the way. I'm one of those kids no matter like no matter what happened, no matter what I've been told, like about certain things about Christmas, like I'm one of those kids that will wake up at six AM every time. I was gonna ask. I are still you, am. Are I you, still you, am you still wake up at I six still am before I like it's that. just like nature to me. Like I have to wake I love up. That. I, and I'm down wow. there, I make sure there's stuff in my stocking, I make sure there's gifts for me. Then I go back to bed. <laughs> we don't have stockings. We don't have stockings. We never either. had stockings. Mm-mm. I make sure there's you stuff. S- there. So you still wake up at six a.m. It just happens. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. I, I just that. I love Christmas and I love gifts. 
I would be a little kid. I'm a giving guy, though, too. So You're a giving guy. I am a giving guy. I used to wake up, uh, like, really early. I would wake up at, like, 5 or, like, 6 or something. And then I'm the youngest, so I would wake up, and I would go downstairs, and I'd be like, Mom, Dad, Christmas! Ah! And I'd, like, jump on their bed. I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Would not jump on their bed. No, I I was a quiet. Like, I would no. sneak down. But there. I would still, I would be like, good morning, it's Christmas time. And then Quinn would be like, no, we're, I'm sleeping <laughs> right now. It's Christmas break. We're sleeping in. And I got really sad. And it was like 8 a.m. or something. So it still wasn't even late mm-hmm. for it. It would be like 9. And I would be so disappointed because there were presents and I couldn't open them. Mm. What time? I, I already knew by then. Yeah, what my gifts then. were. were you, would And then when I was like... Would you like shake them? Were you a shaker? Go well, down on Christmas I don't think they Eve? wrap... My parents don't really wrap my gifts anymore. They don't wrap your gifts? What? No. Really? They didn't before. Shout outs Or Donna. they did before, but the, I don't <laughs> think they... They just <laughs> kind of put them under. Put them under the tree? Yeah. So you can see? So you look well, down really. and you see a Game Boy sitting there? You see a new copy of Mario Party 8 for yep, the Wii? pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> under the tree? Maybe that Wild. was just last year. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually really weird to me. Yeah. They don't mm-hmm. even wrap it. Um, Santa would stop at our house on Christmas Eve. Shoutouts. Like like late Christmas Eve? Yeah, like Christmas Eve night. Um, because on Christmas Day, we would go to my mom's side of the family. So, like, we were always busy doing all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, on Christmas Eve, we would always go across the street to my neighbors, to Carol. And in that amount of time... Santa would drop off in a garbage bag on the front porch. In a garbage bag. A garbage bag on the front porch, a big bag of gifts. And then we would open them on Christmas Eve. And we really? still do that. We still open presents on Christmas Eve. Do they Eve. still, does Santa still drop it off in a garbage bag out front? Um, I don't know. I can't remember now. I don't know what Santa does anymore. I don't know. Um, <laughs> he does tired. what he wants now. <laughs> he does what he wants. I think usually my nieces are back in their houses by christmas morning and i think santa visits them there i don't think santa really visits my parents house anymore oh that's so Mm -hmm. disappointing Mm -hmm. i'm just gonna put this out here right now i'm gonna i'm gonna give out a warning (gasps) i'm gonna say warning (gasps) if there are any small children listening to this or any parents listening to this near any small children or any child under Don't. the age of... <laughs> under the age of 12. 12, yep. Scurry away. <laughs> or, or like, push your children away mm-hmm. from wherever you're doing the dishes or something. And mm-hmm. just c- c- cover their ears with some earmuffs for a little while. This is, this is your final warning. The Crawford Warrior Podcast is not liable for any... Any damage? Any tears? Any tears, anything. We'll not pay for any therapy. We gave you a warning. Moment. We'll give you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Here we go. The real mm-hmm. juicy. Kids, stop listening. Okay. I know. I see you around the corner. I see. <laughs> I see you poking around. You have a lot of faith. Listen. And the amount of listeners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When did you realize that sin is not real? <gasps> He's not. No way. Way. No way. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> when was it? Um. Fifth or sixth grade, I think. Re- so you were eleven or twelve. Yeah, around there. And then I told somebody. <gasps> who'd you tell? An accident, I think. Oh, you told somebody like Jenna. in school? You told Jenna? Jenna Jackson, yeah. <gasps> I didn't mean you're evil. I know I was evil. That was the only... I think that was the only thing. You just referenced it? I don't, or you were just I like, don't know by how, the way, Jenna. I just remember she brings it up to this day. Zach, like, remember when you told me that Santa was real? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Crushing hopes and dreams. Oh, that's so sad. That was like the only incident, but... Oh. Yeah, it was around that time. How did you figure it out, though? Did you just suddenly become a non-believer? <laughs> no, I think actually somebody told me. I don't know who it was. And then I asked my parents, and they're like, yeah, oh. none of that is. Your parents confirmed it? Oh, yeah, no. they did. My parents still run with the gag. Shout out to Don. <gasps> I didn't. love that. My parents, they still joke about it, and um, they'll be like, we'll be like, thanks, Mom and Dad. And they'll be like, it came from Santa. Oh, I love <laughs> and, that. And we'll, and we'll be like... Yeah, thanks, Santa. We'll look up at this guy. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> I remember one year they said, Santa's not Jesus. What are you doing? <laughs> but they still, they're still like, no. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, That's funny. Ben found out, like, 
think it was last year. For context, called? Little Brother Ben. Little Brother Ben. Shout out. LBB, it was LBJ. It was, little Brother <laughs> Jaben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. And the oh, amount of tears no. that were shed. How old is he? Aww. He is 12 now, so he oh. would have been 11. So it was around, so the, would have been around the, the age. Same area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he learned. Oh, it was, it was oh. horrible. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. That hurts my heart. Why do we keep up this charade? But now, but now so he's... So much pain. Yeah, oh. I know. It just brings... But so much joy. It teaches them... Disappointment? The, yeah, of life. <laughs> <laughs> It teaches them how to deal with lies that everyone trust you've ever anyone. trusted. <laughs> Our world today. Everyone you've ever trusted mm-hmm. is lying about everything for all you know. Everything. Yes. Yep. Miss Hanson, when did you learn the I think news about the jolly fat man? <laughs> I don't know how old I was, but our um, I think our neighbor told my brother and and me, but my brother was older, and so like he was like, oh, yeah, like he's wait, not wait, real, wait. but I still believed, even though she told me. This was a little kid neighbor, like a like yeah. a friend. Yeah, okay. she was I, like my brother's age. <laughs> I thought it was like an adult. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Came told no, no, your no. older brother. <laughs> By the way, Dakota. <laughs> How did you know? Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> 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 um, yes, Dakota. Um, so then Dakota was like, "Oh no, I don't believe." Like I, I, don't I think, believe. but I still was like, "No, no, I think she's lying." Oh, and then yeah. one year, one of my sisters was given the job to take our presents from the vehicle upstairs to hide them. And she accidentally left them at the bottom of the stairs or someone left them at the bottom of the stairs. And then I went over and there was like a Barbie and I was like, what is this? And then my mom freaked out and she yelled at my sister. She was like, you were supposed to hide those. So my sister grabbed them and hid them. And then Santa gave me a Barbie, that Barbie for Christmas. Oh, and you Mm, put it together. Context goes. And I still refused. (gasps) You still refused? No, I think I knew, but I didn't tell my mom I knew. So then she would pretend. That's right there. Well, if I didn't, I was the youngest, so I knew if it was going to end, it was going to end with me. So I didn't tell my mom that I knew for like a couple Ah. years so that she would keep pretending. So she would believe that you believed? Yeah. (laughs) And then tricking the mom. Santa wouldn't die. And then I think (laughs) one Easter, finally, she was like, you know, it's not real, right? And I said, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. (laughs) That was it. Oh. Oh. But I didn't tell her that I knew so that she would still play santa oh my god wow. i remember i was a little kid and i had the same sort of thing of like someone told me and i was like no you're mm-hmm. stupid mm-hmm. there was um kid in my class mr jared ferdin <laughs> or mr jared shout ferdin. out shout out don't listen to this jared ferdin, it's too late now he i'm has not gonna say anything about him. you so, summoned him uh he he brought a picture to school and he i think at that at that time this man is a, you know those kids who just lie about everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because just like, why not? He mm-hmm. brought a picture to school that was just like, like, it looked real. Very good Photoshop job of like, in front of a car, black, like, like at night, like those night vision, like flash mm-hmm. of like a picture of just like in front of a car. And then there's like reindeer and like stuff. And it's like, and he came to school and he was like, my aunt took this picture and cause she like almost crashed into Santa or something like that. <laughs> And then I went home and I had a printout of this picture for some reason and I showed it to my sisters and I was like, can you freaking believe that I was, I was like, it, it, he, they, they crashed into Santa and then they were like, you're not, that's not real. That's not a real picture. And I was like, it looks real. What are you talking about? (laughs) There's proof. And they were like, Santa's not real. And I was like, (gasps) oh. No. The sisters told you. Well, they tried to tell me, and I was like, "This is a this is an image. This is an image Proof. on a Proof. printed on a piece of paper." Proof. And then later, we found in the basement, the um, in our wrapping paper tote, was the same wrapping paper that Santa uses every mm. year mm. in the basement. Mm. <sighs> and then I put together the pieces, and I finally mm. let go of. My childhood. Child- yeah, that's when I let go of childhood. <laughs> Your innocence. I think I let go of childhood when I lost the ability to hula hoop. I think that was the big moment. You lost the ability to hula hoop. I can't hula hoop. Have you tried hula hooping? I can't either, though. I, I can't say be, I have. Dude, I used to be great at hula hooping, mm-hmm. and then I, f- I picked one up, and I can't do it anymore. <gasps> And I don't Sad. know why. I used to make fun of people for not being able to hula hoop because I was like, what is wrong with you? It's so easy. No, no you I can't. You can get made fun of. And now I don't have any innocence at all. <laughs> it's not real. 
Welcome to the real world. Uh, what was my, what was my other question about Santa? My dad played. Well, my my dad is Santa, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, so is mine. Is does your dad Santa? <laughs> Oh yeah. wait! <laughs> is does your dad Santa? Does my dad Santa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad Santa's. He has a Santa suit. Oh. Yeah. Really? Like Mr. Bossman does. Like Bossman does. I really mm. want to get Bossman on this podcast, but I don't know when we could record with him. But um, my dad has a Santa suit, and he, uh, down at like the Fordyce Hall, he has been Santa for years and years and years. Mm. And every now and then he he'd bring along like Quinn dressed as an elf, and Love she'd that. deal with like little babies because mm. they'd be like, "Oh my God, this Santa! Oh, this elf looks fine." Aww, you know? that's cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Um, no, my dad was never Santa. Uh, that I know of anyway. Maybe, maybe he was. Maybe. My dad wasn't either. Aww, so never mind <laughs> about the Santa part. <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever received on a Christmas? Are you are you more of a giver or a receiver? Or, well, are you a good gift giver is my question, I think. <laughs> I think I'm a good gift giver. Um, I think um, I like giving gifts. I love giving gifts. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Me too. But I don't think I'm good at it. I'm not good at it. I think I'm actually really I'm, bad at I'm it. I'm so bad at giving <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I'm I'm good at like knowing what people want and all that, but I'm bad at keeping the gift away from them. Like oh. keeping the secret of the gift. Like I love telling people what I got them. Yeah, and I love getting people yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'll agree with that one. It's so fun making gifts for people, but then you have to hold it from them. Yeah, and I mm-hmm. hate. I just, mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Good. I love giving gifts. So this is coming out on Christmas. Guy. You can say what you got, people. <sighs> what a. <laughs> a lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of, i still haven't done any christmas shopping. i don't know what i'm giving people. i i feel like i'm not um because i have to order some stuff so oh, i yeah. feel like i'm kind of on the chopping block when it comes to oh yeah getting them in time i'm also but then getting also nervous, but yeah. people are like i don't even know what i'm getting my mom and it's like how many days till christmas i have I bought like, one wow thing. <laughs> do you have to give a lot of gifts um I like to give, like, one gift to my two sisters. I'm going to keep counting here, two. Two sisters, mom, dad, probably, if that's not, like, a collaboration gift with my sisters. Because, like, some years it's, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. getting mm-hmm. something and give me five bucks and I'll put your name on it sort yes, of thing. Yes, love those gifts. Um, Probably get a gift for my girlfriend. Ugh. Um, <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> That's what I'm so it stressed have to out be about. Expensive. Yeah, I'm just just I put like hard giving into expensive it. gifts. You don't have to or spend money. Is uh, Aaron high maintenance? No. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Really. <laughs> I give her a three musketeers, and it's great. She'd be like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Samantha's high maintenance. So. She's listening to this. Tell yeah. her to listen to this. I'll tell yeah, her. To I listen will. To this. I would like to stand up for Samantha right now and say. I disagree. I already know half of my gift that she got me, and she you knows know half she's of the gift you? that I got. Oh, because yeah. you just can't She got me an in? Apple Watch. She got you an Apple Watch? What? Yeah. <laughs> she got me AirPods last year. Oh, what? my God. That's so much money. And then she keeps on buying me more. I'm like, stop. I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> I'm okay. actually a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But an the Apple, Apple, Apple Watch? Watch, it's like the SE, so it's like the cheapest. It's like the... That's like 300 bucks. No, it's like 140, 190. 150. That's still a lot of money. But it still is, is a yeah. significant amount of money. I indeed. Uh, oh Never. Gosh, I got I bought a lot. Let's see how many gifts I have to give for people. Mother, father. Mother, father. Two sisters. Benny Boo. Little Benny Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's dad, Samantha's mom. Sister. So Samantha's whole family. Yeah, pretty much. Cuz I'm a nice guy. Seven. Good Seven. I'm a nice you. Guy. Eight? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Make it nine just to be safe. Wait. Yeah, something like that. You're not getting me a gift. <laughs> I can. <laughs> me being on the podcast is your gift. Aww. Me giving so you sweet. the content. Look at that. You're giving me content that I have to edit. That you have to. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit a podcast for you. That would actually be an amazing gift. There you go. That would be so good. And it costs no money. Look at that. Just yeah. kindness. What is yeah. on your Christmas list? A lot of people. A lot of people. 
people you want people oh for sorry <laughs> things that i want oh i thought oh. you meant christmas list i have to shop for no to shop for a lot of people christmas list of what you want people to buy you what do i want i want new white shoes oh so i need new white shoes and my mom is gonna buy me them and i feel bad because shoes a lot of are money. always on my list i feel so bad asking for things that are more than I like know. twenty dollars I do. And she has a lot of kids. Nowadays, there's like nothing that's less than $20 no. that's like a good thing. I um, My mother has a lot of kids, so she can't, I mean, they can't go like crazy. Um, oh, yeah. Plus, I have all my nieces and nephews. Nephew. Um, and so I felt so bad asking for them. But she asked me what I wanted, and I gave her a list of things that cost less. Like $10. Yeah, and then she called me, and she was like, I want to buy you new shoes. I was like, but they're so expensive. And she was like, nope, you pick them out, and I don't want you to pick out the cheap ones just because I'm buying them. She was like, you need new Aww. shoes. Because um, these ones are so worn out that they actually, like, destroy my foot. Mama Hansen. So Mama sweet. Hansen. She's such a sweetheart. Aww. I know. I am not spending that much money on her, so... <laughs> 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 Love uh, that for me. Uh, Zach, what do you want? Are you looking at your Pinterest? Go, no, I'm shopping. <laughs> You're shopping I'm, right I'm now. High, I'm high. I'm kind of, I like to say I'm high maintenance too, though. What do you want for your, I am yourself? A, you want an Apple Watch, I presume? Oh, uh, yeah. Mainly for college. So, that's uh, why I wanted that. Why do you need an Apple Watch for college? I, okay, you so. You know the time. So, <laughs> so I thought the coolest thing, I was in San Diego because my cousin is a Marine and he stations in San Diego. So, I went to San Diego. And dude drives around San Diego like it's Yankton. Like you drive around Yankton. Like, oh, yeah. He is crazy. Like, like I was like, I wish I could drive around San Diego like that. San Diego is crazy. Like you just like it's crazy sharp people turns? in California. Or like, no, like he just like the way he's driving. Oh, it's like so just, just so more aggressive. Yeah. And it's just like second nature. Just like yeah. so at ease. Yeah. 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 And I was like, I wish I could drive like that in such a busy place and he has so like his directions watch. on his apple watch so you oh. just look at his apple watch and his directions would be like there i was like when i'm in lincoln that'd be the coolest thing ever oh, i was like yeah. i would need that yeah. so yeah. that was like one of the main things and if i lose my phone oh yeah <laughs> one of the quite one of the attendance questions for journalism like mm. the other mm-hmm. day was um are different color trees okay and it was like no green and then it was like red, white. The silver ones? Silver trees. I was no. like, we can't have a blue tree. That's no. not. My family's a real tree. Like, we go out and chop that thing down. And Are you a real, you're a real tree? Kurt, you. Kurt is, though. So really? He's a, yeah. He's we a, used to be a real tree. Family. We used to, too. Kurt loves trees in general. Is that Shout just, out, Kurt. Does your dad just love trees? He loves trees. So he does the, what's it, Arbor Day? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. He if does. you ever got little. Yeah, a little, little saplings. Trees. Yeah, little saplings as a little kid. It's from Kurt. Yeah. yeah so. Where does he get the saplings? I don't know. Your dad has so Work? many side projects. Yeah, he's a he's a really side project guy. You don't even know. Shout Zach's out journalism. Dad. No, I don't think it is. Shout, Shout out, journal- out journalism. <laughs> he is a journalism guy. Oh yeah, he's a journalist. Oh. Yeah. He's like yeah. chief editor for God or something. <laughs> Pretty much. New York Times. <laughs> for, a sec- for a second, I believed that. <laughs> I kind of did, too. I was like, oh, that's Whoa. impressive. <laughs> Imagine. We would not be living in Crofton, Nebraska. You would Nebraska. not be living in Crofton, Nebraska, and your mother would not I'd be. I'd be in a, a mansion <laughs> not going to school right now, probably. Yeah. Your mom would not be an eighth grade English My mom teacher. would not be an eighth grade English <laughs> In my family, and Zach, I assume that your family has this, too, because you're, you're your classic Midwestern family. Miss Hansen, I don't know what you're it is, from. Man. The, the worst superior Midwest state. state. <coughs> you're superior. from worst. But superior. like, I'm assuming that Nebraska maybe has different people. Maybe better. better. You do have different people. <laughs> maybe better. I do call you all different. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that. Those Nebraskans. That's gonna start some wars. They're different. <laughs> you said it. Those Nebraskans so different. Special. Special. In my house, and I'm, I'm assuming your house. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. <laughs> um, we have Christmas, and then it's the the after dinner nap that everyone takes. Mm. You, you know that mm-hmm. where every like every uncle just finds a chair. Sometimes Grant's dad just sleeps on the floor. 
Like my dad will love do that. that. You just like, and then it's just all these like midwestern guys with their hats over their eyes, like asleep. Some of them with a blanket, some of them not. <laughs> and there's like four recliners, you know. I love that. That sort of thing. Does that happen in Iowa? Um, I'm sure it happens somewhere in mm, Iowa. Different. Okay, but do you have your Christmas meal at like lunchtime? We ha- um we have our Christmas Christmas Eve like our family one. We do Christmas Eve, so we like. Well, this year is kind of different, but we usually go to church Christmas Eve mass, mm-hmm. and then we eat our mm-hmm. um dinner or supper, whatever you like to call. So it. so the and last meal we, of the day. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and then we open gifts as a family. Oh. So, my family does Christmas Eve Mass, and then we eat, and then we open gifts, and then we eat again. You have two meals? Well, no. You just snack the second time Well, then we, I think we do leftovers. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Then you're like, oh, let's go eat everything else. Santa Claus. That's what Santa Claus said. So, like, Mm -hmm. the gifts are technically, you got to split them up. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's what my family does. Interesting. Like, I think they give the not as big gifts on Christmas Eve. I don't know how. You you get gifts. Oh, you tell your, your family s- opens tell me your gifts. Secret, your 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 whole family opens gifts on Christmas Eve. Yes, like our to each other. Oh. Like my gifts that I get will be from my parents. Parents. You know what I'm saying? What? Now I'm confused. Okay, okay, okay. Your okay. gifts will come from your quotes parents. Quotes my my parents. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. So is this maybe a secret I said that Santa weird. situation? No, it's just like okay. So we put all our gifts under the tree. Yes. Like all the gifts from like everybody. There so are say, name tags on these gifts. Yes. Mm-hmm. To Jimmy. From so we Benny all Boo. sit in our living room and we have certain spots that we sit. Uh huh. And so your gifts are in front of you and we go around and it'll be like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, this is from Lauren to Zach. That's me. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. Yeah. And okay. then like my mom will have a gift from me or like. Oh, stuff so like your that. whole. Are we talking extended family or just? Family. Like Family. Clo- including oh. my dad's, my uncle, my dad's brother that lives in Crofton, and um, Samantha came last year. So you do family gifts that you have given to your other family members Christmas Eve, and then just Santa ones? Yes. And that'll be oh. just like my family. Mm. Oh. Even though now you know that Santa... Isn't Santa. Isn't Santa at sea? So year. you're getting <laughs> gifts from your parents the night before, and then more gifts from your parents the next day. Pretty much, yeah. But we play out to your parents. Oh, but it's like the them. role of Santa. But I think they just like split gifts up. Are mm-hmm. Christmas presents, Christmas Day presents, normally better or worse than Christmas Eve? I assume there's less there, of them. There's less. Just they're just more of the expensive. Oh. Mm. I is think. is your family the kind of the same as? Uh, Christmas, like Santa presents, wink, are <laughs> from, our Santa presents are like, these are for Quinn, Carly, and Jack, you know? That's how it, that's how it normally is. It's like, this is for the whole family. Oh. We have separate. Oh, oh wow. We, yeah. we might have like one separate, but normally it's, like one year we got concert tickets for all three but, of us. Sort <gasps> of thing. Wow. But yeah. then like, of course, like. Lauren, since she's off on her own, doesn't get as doesn't get much presents. because she's not much of a kid. Like, where Ben... Because she's not in the family anymore. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> but Ben wouldn't get... Would get more because more time to enjoy it. Because he still believes. Because he... Mm-hmm. No. Well, he doesn't. doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's closer to the mm-hmm. time of believing. Yes, and he has mm-hmm. more... Enjoys it more than he's Lauren the would enjoy. Yeah. Because he's a baby. <laughs> I'm the favorite, so you're the favorite. So, yeah, no way, no way. They let me go to, go to the Philippines for a month and say I'm not the favorite. Oh, that's true. I guess so. Miss Hanson, yeah. are you the favorite child? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think um, I might be my mom's like second favorite. Hey, that's pretty good. Maybe I'm in the ranks. Yeah. If I'm if if somebody if I were the second favorite to somebody, then I would be like I'm in the middle. Yeah. I'm not that good. I mean, I'm just one in five, so. That's true. There's still three that are yeah. doing worse than I am. Yeah, I guess so. I like to say I'm my favorite. You, so. Yeah, you probably are. 
realistically. But then if you ask any of my parents, they'll be like, I don't have don't favorite. Have or my favorite. dad. My dad's thing is, you're my favorite oldest son. That's I hate funny. it. Aww. That's I funny. hate it. <laughs> dad, I know I'm the favorite of all favorites. I'm, that means you're the least favorite oldest son. Bring that up to him next time he pulls that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Technically. The, he's the least favorite oldest son. And also the favorite oldest son. He's the only oldest son. Oh, so he is the favorite and the least favorite. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm getting at. I always t- and then when I, every time I hug my grandma and from Omaha. She goes, you're my favorite no, son. I tell her, I'm like, <laughs> oh, here comes the favorite as I'm hugging her. So <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> At least you're modest. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Quinn's. My grandma, Quinn is my grandma's favorite grandchild because they share a birthday. Oh. Yeah. He's like, it's my, it's, it's the favorite. best birthday present I could have ever gotten. Aww. Yeah, I know. I wish I was the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think so I was sweet. maybe one of the favorite grandchildren because I was the youngest. I was the youngest of my family and the youngest of like the grandchildren on my mom's side. Wow. So I was like the little baby. Yeah, little everyone baby. Everyone. Coddled. Loved me. Still do. <laughs> Because, not because you're the youngest. Not because I'm the youngest, but yeah. because I'm amazing, obviously. Yeah. Yes. I I don't know how grandparents... My grandma, get for like your birthday, I don't know about for your birthday, but for Christmas, my grandma Schieffer gives every grandkid 30 bucks, hmm. which is like, that's a... That's a good amount of money. Yeah. You know? That's 30 bucks. You have a lot of grandkids. And she has a bunch of grandkids. I'm like, how are you sustaining this woman? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to mm-hmm. say I get 50 from my grandma. You get 50 bucks from your grandma? Well, to at least to, the, at least to my fam, my, like her grandchildren from my family. So like Lauren, Taylor, me, and Ben. Oh, does she just We like, all get 50. Does she so. like your dad more or something? Yeah. Is your dad the favorite, and thus his <gasps> offspring gets more money on Christmas? I I like to think so. <laughs> Interesting. I actually don't know how many grandchildren she has. Interesting has, family dynamics. Do you got any Christmas music recommendations for these people on this beautiful Christmas day? I love sad Christmas songs. What? What? Yes. It's supposed to be cheerful. Like no. like a Blue Christmas by LV. Blue um, Christmas. Without you. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Um, my favorite is like Hard Candy Christmas by Dolly Parton. Never heard it. Ugh, so good. Um, Christmas Always Makes Me Cry, Casey Musgraves. Nope. Also good. Nope. Um, what are other sad Let ones Let me just I look up to? Sad Christmas. Those are my favorite. Crying Under the Christmas Tree. <laughs> what the heck? This is the playlist. Guys, it's Christmas. But sometimes it's good to feel like that sadness, you're lonely, like during sadness, <laughs> so that the joy it's you so feel more better. joy. Yeah, if we make it through December, that's like my family's favorite Christmas song. If we make it through December, yeah. What? <laughs> it's a vibe. Oh my god! It's a vibe. If we make it through December, if we make it through December, I that's a good one. Wow. We listen to the Cody Johnson version. Ten out of ten recommend. Who's Cody Johnson? Same Kojo. Way. Is that what they call him? No <laughs> way. Kojo? No way that's an actual <laughs> thing. You just made that up. <laughs> I swear it is. <laughs> no I way. Sw- Look it up. <laughs> I swear. I swear to <laughs> God, if you're lying to me. Yeah, cough out of the mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kojo. Kojo Nation. Cody, Cody Johnson, Johnson music. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my it's God. Actual thing. He knew. They actually call him Kojo. I did not know he that. He has a actually. song called Kojo Nation, parentheses <laughs> intro. <laughs> what? Interesting. Oh, he's a country singer. That's why I don't he know is. Him. He is country. Yeah, that's why. You um, don't. If we make it through December, Gross. highly recommend. If we make it through December. If we make it through December. Zach, do you listen to any specific Christmas music? No, or but do you just put on last like year, playlist? the Philadelphia Eagles came out with the... They sung <laughs> the... Um, they had a Christmas song. Yeah, they, they had have one this year, too. They have one this year, I saw. I saw Travis Kelsey was on. Yeah, Travis Kelsey But was that singing. was actually surprisingly good. Yeah, Did I you heard listen to the song? It. it is good. I Very talented. That song? Philadelphia. Really? It's a good song. I'm but not going to lie. I listened so to goofy. the um, the lineman, Philadelphia Eagles. Really? So. It's so oh, funny that they do that. Name. Remember, there was, uh, there's a Key and Peele sketch where it was like making fun of how football teams used to make like diss tracks. And then, <gasps> they, and then they make like two songs 
because they have the East West Bowl like continuation <laughs> jokes where it's like Hingle McCringle Berry. Oh, I've seen that. You know those? <laughs> it's funny. You've never seen those? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking Miss about. Miss right Hanson. <laughs> I'm so confused. You've never seen Keen Peel? No, I do know who that is. That's I'm about shocked. as much as I know. <laughs> oh, there's there's a running there's there's oh, I'm so distraught. <laughs> there's there's a running gag. They had a joke. And it was based on how football players have crazy names. Okay. And so they go in. It's just it's just Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele, and they just alternate back and forth. And they put on. I assume they just put on a wig and just went in front of a green screen, essentially. <gasps> and they just go like Hingle McCringleberry, Dartmouth College, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> and then the that's next funny. one is just like. Oh, that's why. Like, uh, what's who's who's another character? Why am I drawing a blank? I've watched this sketch so many times. We I've need to show this a couple to you. Times. I have watched through all of Key and Peele at least three times. Oh, my god! The whole series. It's on Hulu. Watch it right now. It's so <laughs> good. But, um, yeah, they just go in front. In front. I assume they just go in front of a green screen. They put on, like, fake teeth or something. Oh, my gosh. And then gosh. it's, like, something. One of the uh, one of the names is just, like, Squeeps. <laughs> Donkey teeth. <laughs> Anywho, they have those sketches, and then they, whenever they have a football sketch, it just ends up like, oh yeah, with a uh, fudge running down the field, and then, <laughs> and then they they had one where they made fun of football player diss tracks from the nineties, and then they they use those characters. I didn't even know those. those existed. Yeah. This tracks. Yeah, and then they made just a really funny rap video. Anywho, that's just what it reminded me of when the, <laughs> when the Eagles made that, was just those Key and Peele sketches. That's we, fair. We need to show you those. If you've never seen the East-West Bowl, I I'm concerned. Go watch those on your beautiful Christmas day. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna show them to you after this. <laughs> okay. By the way. We have to. Okay. We have to. Zach, you got any Christmas other than the Eagles <laughs> Christmas song? <laughs> um... No, I'm not much of a Christmas song listener. Christmas music connoisseur. Mm. Christmas music of listener. Mm. Not much mm. of a. Huh. Well, I mm. I will listen mm. to Christmas mm. music like it mm. brings mm. me joy. <laughs> <laughs> it brings me joy. <laughs> Great. What's your favorite Christmas but song? <laughs> Just favorite Christmas um, song. Don't even need to recommend uh, favorite. Um. Um. What's your favorite Christmas song? Mine? Um, yes. Mariah Carey. Oh, Mariah Carey. Oh, what for Christmas is you. Yeah. It's just basic, basic though. It's such a, a singer. That's a good one. Um, Hard Candy Christmas. What did Dolly you say? Dolly Parton. Oh, Hard Candy Christmas. Yes. Oh. Favorite song. I got to listen to that then. I'm going to say you I know do. that one. I don't. You do? No. <laughs> oh, I thought you said. <laughs> he but said my mom loves Dolly Parton. <sighs> oh, really? She is superior. Always. Let me give Christmas music recommendations. I didn't know that PJ Morton has a Christmas album. You know PJ Morton? No. Dude, R and B Christ is what he is. And he just he has a Christmas album apparently because I started hearing good sounds on the T V when he put <laughs> on a playlist and and PJ Morton just started riffing and I was like, Whoa, I didn't know you had a Christmas album. I think the best Christmas songs are made by Beatles. Like, oh. like, not as they were a group of Beatles, mm -hmm. but like John Lennon, Ma Happy Christmas, War is Over. Good one. Fair. Good one. Fair. Paul McCartney, um, Wonderful Christmas Time. Also fair. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good song. The best too. Christmas song. How long is okay to keep up Christmas decorations <gasps> after Christmas? January 10th. That was what? a solid... Whoa. That was so specific? Why January 10th? I don't know. I feel like that's a balance. Wow. Between anywhere mid, like, first... Mid-Jan? Wait till first week after the first week of January. I wow. Think. Mm. After wow. Thanksgiving. Well, to till the first week of January. Oh, you put mm. them up mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving yes. to the first week of January. Wow. Hmm. Miss Trainer is a full believer of celebrating Christmas before Thanksgiving Break and then taking a week yeah. and then taking a week 
before Thanksgiving yeah. and then going back to Christmas? Absolutely. Is that do you have you to take your in? tree down yeah. for that break, or do you, just you take your tree <laughs> down for that break? I <laughs> put my tree up before Thanksgiving. Let yeah. it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Mm. I um Friday. might as well celebrate it. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can leave it up as long as you want. Frosty. As long as your little heart desires. But like June. <laughs> Okay, that's too far. Um, <laughs> but like, put a line on there. January and February, I feel like, are such dreary, wintry months. I know. Who lacks love and Valentine's Day? It's gross. Okay. January <laughs> is such a dreary. <laughs> Zach, I swear January. Okay. <laughs> 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 January is such a dreary month, Jingle and I feel like that's when that's like true. the seasonal depression Jingle. just like. Yeah. Jingle Hits. Bell Rock. So you if keep singing. I'll just turn you down <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I will. No, do it. You can do it. So if Christmas decorations make you feel better, if it helps leave them up all January. <laughs> Santa baby. Turn me down. Dream the tree. Chimney. Chimney. <laughs> Chimney. You know the whole like thing that um what's her face was uh, like Brenda Lee or whatever, whoever sang mm-hmm. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree was thirteen. The the lady who sings Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Mm-hmm. Rockin' around the Christmas tree and the Christmas party. She's she's 13. What? She recorded 13? that at 13 years no. old. No. Look it up right now. I don't have my phone on She me. recorded that at 13 years old. That's wild. 13. That's crazy. At 13, I was self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the same age as whoever recorded I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Aren't they? were like 12. Hippopotamus for Christmas. I want a hippo for a gem. He sees the Christmas. Two very I want different music levels. animal from the zoo over Christmas. <laughs> what animal from the zoo would, would you, you like for Christmas? Polar bear. Polar bear? Aren't they evil? Stop yeah. moving that. They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my oh, there's god. Stuff on, whose stuff is this? Oh, I want novels. a hippopotamus for Christmas is a Christmas novelty song written by John Rocks and performed by ten year old Gayla Peavy. Ten. She was ten? But that one's like made for her to sound. Yeah, it's supposed to be young. like a kid. I yeah. want a hippopotamus for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front <gasps> teeth. I went two years without my two front teeth when they fell out. Two as a years? Child. I think so, or at least a year. And that was like my anthem for Christmas against my will. Um, wow. <laughs> that everyone sang Held around that. me all the time. Are you on Wikipedia? <laughs> I'm looking for how long, how old Spike Jones was. Spike Jones. When he, he died. <laughs> recorded. Okay. I. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how old he was. <coughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> Woo wee. Woo doggy. That was. I think that'll that'll wrap it up. I think we're gonna wrap get it up. It's Christmas. <laughs> Christmas time. Was really um, I love Christmas. Zach, if there's anywhere people want to reach you, um, at these underscore Zachary underscore Arns on Instagram. Yep. At my house. At your house. Yep. Which is at. We'll have our real Christmas tree up and no food. Yeah. So, Miss Hanson, you got you, an Instagram a blizzard, shout out. Oh, don't you worry about it. Um, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'd prefer they can't find me. Thank Look you. Look her up on Facebook. Nope. And Don't do you'll that. find it. Don't do that either. You'll find posts about find some everything wedding. you need Don't. to know. Don't find me. Don't do it. Shout out my classes. Take novels. Yeah, shout out novels. Novels. <laughs> no. Take novels, everyone. No. That's novels. I can't novels. read. Novels. Why would I take novels? Novels. I basically read majority of it to you all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's the most violent that comment aggressive. I've ever heard. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I can't read. Novels, novels, <laughs> novels. Okay, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Can you introduce yourself, please, Sophia? I'm Sophia Wortman. I go to Crofton High School. Thanks. Are you a big Christmas? Yeah, I do like Christmas. Christmas what? is Christmas. awesome. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. Would you say it's your favorite holiday? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Above. 
National Fig Week? Or rather... I didn't even hear that. Oh. You well, someone doesn't of- listen to the podcast. No, I don't. I listen to it sometimes when I'm doing homework, but not too much. We had a whole episode on National Fig Week. It was pretty awesome, I'd say. Yeah. Wow. Go listen. <laughs> Go listen. I'll have to, I guess. What's your favorite thing about oh. Christmas? Oh, I don't know. Like, probably, like, the feeling, I guess, if that makes any sort of sense. The, like, atmosphere? Yeah, because you got, like, the snow, you got, like, the tree, you got, like, the lights and everything. So everything being holly jolly, as they say? Yeah, basically. Oh, wait, Quinlan, do you want to introduce yourself? Because you weren't on the last interview. (laughs) Yeah, I'm Quinn. Hey, Quinn. How's it going? Oh, it's going well. Are you a Christmas person? Heck yeah. Ooh. (laughs) I love Christmas. It's awesome. Are you are you more of a like a giver or a getter? Like a giver, I guess. I I wrap too many presents. I think are Christmas you? is a great um, decrease in my money. I oh. guess. <laughs> Quinlan, mm-hmm. do you steal presents? What do you do? What do you do on Christmas? Are I'm a like leech. A <laughs> <laughs> are you like a Grinch? Uh, no, I'm not a Grinch. Wink. I winked, everybody. <laughs> but, no, I'm not a Grinch. I give a couple presents. I get more presents than I give because I don't like spending money. I'm a frugal man. I, but, yeah. Frugal is uh, a big word. It big is. Word especially for, for me. I can't even, I, I couldn't spell it. He doesn't know the word. I did watch that episode. Oh, watch, I couldn't. Listen. Oh, I couldn't spell. The one where Quinlan was yeah. doing a spelling bee with Miss Trainer. <laughs> I can't yeah. spell. It's not, I can't do it. But spell, anyway. Spell Christmas. C... H. Already wrong. <laughs> hey. <laughs> C H R I S T M A S. You got it. Christmas. Christmas. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Before I so rudely interrupted you with spelling. Oh, uh, I give a couple presents. I get more than I give because I don't like spending money. But I like it because, you know, I get to spend time with my family. Because oh, I don't get yeah. to see my family too often because they don't, most of them don't live around here. Mm-hmm. So we get to see my family. It's holly jolly. That's awesome. I get to look forward to Mr. Santa Claus giving me a present. Santa Claus. Yeah, huh. Sophia, what is your what what's your plan for this Christmas? What do you do, do you like have a lot of family? Where do you go for that lot of family? Well, I don't really know. Uh Christmas <laughs> Eve, we normally get together with my mom's side, do like a gift exchange. Christmas we don't do anything. We just sit around at home doing nothing really. Eating food, I guess. That's a good yeah. Christmas. Then my uh, dad's side, we go like in January to Ponca State Park. Whoa. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. It's cheap for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's kind of fun. There you go. I think that the best Christmases are spent when you get everything done before noon, and then you can just sit around the rest of the day. Yeah. That's my opinion. And then and the holly right. jolliness can resonate throughout you. Yeah, it can resonate. You can just listen to Christmas music. And play whatever Mario Party 8 for the Wii you got for Christmas. Yeah. You know? But, yeah. What's the best present you ever received? Oh, I don't even know. Probably, like, I have this giant blanket that's on my bed. And it's really heavy. Not really heavy. It's not like a weighted blanket, but it's heavy. And it's, like, blue. And it's, like, a quilted, but also soft. I like that. But otherwise, it was, like, a... When I was little, I really wanted a... Um, what's it called? You know those for real pets that used to get like Furby? No, not a Furby. Like a it was for real pets, and it was like a whole brand, and they're like robot stuffed animals or whatever. I don't really know. What? Yeah, I know they're great. And Google. I really wanted a pet lamb, right? But I wanted a real live lamb, right? Oh. But no way my parents would give that to oh, me. Oh, you wanted a real live lamb, so they gave you yeah. a for real pet? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Basically. And I named it Cheeto because I got Cheetos all over it. Oh, those things. The torn- yeah, you know what it, I'm talking about. It turned about. orange? Hasbro. Well, no, I just got Cheeto dust all over it, and so I just named it Cheeto. You got Cheeto dust all over but then, it? But then <laughs> it would have been orange, sheep. right? No, it's not all orange. It has It just orange. has a little oh. bit of Cheeto dust yeah. on it. It's like a tiger. Yeah, look at those guys. Oh, yeah. I know that. They always had like the little collars or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. that. Did you ever have Zuzu pets? Those little, those I little think hamsters. So. Oh no! But the Jacksons had them, and we would go to their house. Yeah, and they'd always have the Zuzu pets, and that I'd be so jealous. What was your go-to like 
What did, what did you play with as a kid as toys? Legos, basically. Legos. I still build with Legos, actually. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, Barbies. Barbies were great. Or we had a fairy set. Oh, my gosh. We still have it, actually. Kids fairy play Fairy set? Yeah. Like, you know, all those... Oh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know. They have, like, all the horses, and they have, like, all different animals and stuff. And we had... I don't a know farm what set? Yeah, we had farms and a fairy version of, like, kind of the farm set. Oh, my God. Did the like cow have wings? <laughs> no. And a fairy horse? <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that's it's called a peg- Pegasus. Yeah. It's oh, Pegasus. that's true. One had a horn with it. So it was like a, a unicorn. Pegacorn. Pegacorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, we had a bunch of fairies and like the little people that were fairies. And we had a griffin with like some dude with a sword on it. It's like a lion, right? It's like Is that lion, a winged lion? Winged lion, uh, eagle. Oh, yeah. yeah. So several animals put yeah, together. Basically. Like mythology somewhere. Mythology. <laughs> we had a bunch of castles with it. It was great. I that, loved that. That sounds stuff. amazing. That sounds, that sounds yeah. crazy. Yeah. You can make them like siege the castle. <laughs> Basically. Oh, siege the castle. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then there's like a trap door underneath the castle that goes no into like way. a dungeon and like you turn okay, the little that's knob. Dope. Oh my gosh. It was dope, man. That's incredible. I'd love it. Quinlan, were you a fairy sort of? No, guy? I was, okay. Legos, of course. And we had these little Minecraft figures and I would always mix them together. There, were, there weren't Lego Minecraft figures. But I, it would, I would have, like, a whole story, you know? Oh, yeah. So I'd be like, these are the good guys. These are the bad guys. Uh-huh. Of course, some of the good guys have to die for the main good guy to win, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I also had this Batman. No, 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 uh, no, Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> it was this, like, it was like a side of a cliff or something. What? And then, yeah, and his you base was. off the cliff? No, his base was in the side of the cliff. Oh, and oh, was it not Legos? Sweet. Was it No, like, it wasn't oh. Legos. Yeah, it yeah, was, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and like it, it had this own little Batman guy. That's you dope. could move his head 360 degrees. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> and he had like a little thing so you could stick him on. And there was like a cage. It would go. <laughs> it would like fall down and pick oh, people that's up. Amazing. That's kind of crazy. That's it was awesome. high tech. It was awesome. I used to play with Hot Wheels. But we didn't have any tracks, and I think I would play with Hot Wheels the way that other people played with Barbies, because there would be like storylines and stuff, and it would be I had like one Hot Wheel. They had names. I gave them oh names. My gosh. Oh my gosh! And there were like these Hot Wheels. There was this one guy I named him Fireball. He was like the main character all the time. Like Lightning McQueen. Like Lightning McQueen, oh my and it gosh. was like he has to win his final cup or whatever. Yeah. He has to win this race tournament style. <laughs> I had it's like going up against these antagonists. There's one guy, he had a British flag on him. I don't know why he was the antagonist, but I guess I hated the UK. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, that guy was the antagonist. Then there were like these three other like old cars that I had where I was like, they're a trio of bad guys. Oh, no. <laughs> and then the game against this guy, against Fireball. Uh-huh. Fireball had a best friend. I think his name was Jeff. He was a convertible. <laughs> Jeff's a cool know. guy. Oh my but gosh. I didn't have tracks. I didn't have any. Like some people have Hot Wheels like play sets or something. Yeah. Didn't have those. I just had the the cars from somewhere. They were just in a shoebox yeah. for some reason. And I just. Ooh, I think I would just sit in my room. If if you looked in it like five year old Jack, just be sitting in his room, not saying a word, but it would just be like, <laughs> just back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Not even so driving. Funny. I had one Hot Wheel that I r- mainly remember. What was it? And it was it was an Angry Bird Hot Wheel. What did yeah. you just say? It was it was a pig. It was the green pig. It was basically his head and then a car. <laughs> I'll find you a picture. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. I'm sure I have it somewhere. That sounds horrifying. I was it the king? <laughs> uh, no, it was just a random pig. Oh, okay. I played with Hot Wheels like every once in a while in like preschool but like it was always this one would right? you drive them on the masking tape no i'd drive it down the slide oh and then that got banned i think <laughs> oh no yeah i don't know but Too many kids, kids don't do dying. that anymore yeah <laughs> no i'd always play with this pink sparkly one and it was like i don't know i loved it it was great and i'd like wash it during the one car wash thingy that we did in preschool yeah because we'd have like stations Except Josh Polinsky stole it from me one time, and I was really mad. Yeah, Jesus. 
Shit, you should have <laughs> shut him out. Should have beat him up. <laughs> no, I was a good little girl. <laughs> Somewhat. Did you, did you ever do that? Did you ever drive Hot Wheels on masking tape and it was like, these are the roads? No, I was too dumb for that. <laughs> That's what we would do in preschool. That's all we would do that I remember. I don't remember masking tape on the ground. There, there would be in that. There was a big yellow table. There's that like had a dip in it. Oh my god, that is a those pig are on a in car. packaging. What That's the heck? I didn't. I didn't have That's the. That's not what I, I was expecting. The, the Angry Bird one. Why did they do that? I don't know, but I'm happy they did. <laughs> <laughs> Little me was like, "That's he would also be the bad one because you know Angry Bird." Yeah, because he was a quote unquote bad piggy. Yeah, yeah, that makes trademark. sense. <laughs> trademark, trademark. Yeah, bad piggy copyright. Yeah, copyright. Yeah. Copyrighted. What's your Christmas? How's your Christmas gonna go? You big, I, big old I, fan? I, I don't really know how it's gonna go. I honestly, think we, we've got like a couple minutes. I think we should close out. Again, warning to all young children: stop listening. I swear to God, this is the yes. this is the second time I've given you this warning. I don't know why you came back to the podcast. If you don't stop listening. I'm not going to say that. Never leave. Mind. Leave. Get out, please. Go, we'll now. We'll give you a second. Pause, you pause it. All mothers, pause it. Yep. I'll give you a sucker if you leave. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Quinlan. Uh-huh. Or Sophia. Sophia, you're our guest. Okay. That's How true. did you learn about the truth of the jolly fat man? Well. Trauma. Um, I think. Oh, dang. I think I heard it from school from somebody. And I went to my mom and I was like, Mom. This, like, you went to your mom? I think it is it like true. And she's like, yes. And she sat me down on her bed. And I remember Cecilia, <laughs> my little sister, trying to listen in on it. And mom, like, closing all the doors. And she was like, the magic is still there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the parents are actually Santa Claus. And that I was like, oh, okay. That's the most that holly sense. thing <laughs> I've <laughs> ever heard. That makes a lot of sense. And I remember her bringing in Elizabeth, too. And Elizabeth kind of already the knew. Because she was, is she was older. there. And she would, like, had this, like, 20-minute preach to us about, <laughs> about like, yes, Santa Claus is not real. There's still magic there. And still magic. And the, the Christmas spirit. Don't and let it get you That's so fun. Saint Nick is actually a real person. He was with oh, Jesus and stuff. amen. <laughs> Did that? I was like, whoa, that's crazy. That's so cool. Did she let you down easy enough where you were just like, oh, well. No. Darn. Or were you just, just like crying no i wasn't crying at all i was just kind of sitting there like okay that's all i needed to hear <laughs> no offense to mom uh my mom just gaslit me <laughs> <laughs> i'd be like a santa real and she's like yeah and she always just said well, yeah, that. yeah that's how well, well no are. but she said that like even if i ask her now she's like oh yeah he's real and i'm like mom my, my parents do that but they know it's kind of a joke i'm like mom is santa gonna give me any presents this year and she's like yeah i'm like are you sure and she's like yeah I'm like, how'd you figure it out? I honestly, I don't know. At one point, I was just like, you woke up and I'm, you were like, I think joy is fake. I've, I've been enlightened. <laughs> no, I don't know. I probably heard it from school or something, and I was like, Mama Santa, Rail? and she's like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm never trusting you again, Mom. <laughs> I figured I out our elf wasn't real because I like played with it with one of oh, my Oh, the Barbies. elf on the shelf. Yeah. You touched him. You yeah. Touched him? He's lo- dead now. All his, <laughs> all his magic is gone. <laughs> That's his blood. <laughs> <laughs> his no, blood like, boiled in his body now. His dead. blood is magic. It's of course his blood is made of like glitter. <laughs> no, he's dead. You, you killed him. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> no, like I, I like touched him. And, like, well, nothing happened. And then, like, I kind of like took him down and like inspected him. And then, like, the you next day, you <laughs> expected to just like get up and slap you or something? <laughs> well, I didn't know what would happen. So I like took it down and I look, kind of looked at it. And then I like put it back. And then the next day, I kind of like was playing with my Barbies and I was like kind of like not moving him but like he looks like a fun love interest (laughs) (laughs) you touch him and he just melts (laughs) well we only had like one kendall at the time and it was one that like his hair was all over the place because it was like oh not real hair but like surfer ken yeah Mm. well not surfer jaw he came in a suit that's all i remember (laughs) but oh snazzy ken snazzy well we had had a gi joe too but we got him taken away that's a real snazzy that's army ken (laughs) why'd you get him taken away what'd you do well, like, I left him in, like, a kissing position with one Barbie, because you know how we all did that as kids. You made Barbies kiss. And so yep. my mom found it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack made his car's kiss, I bet. Oh, no, for, I, for sure. I don't think I made my car's kiss. I don't uh, think so. 
My bad piggy's car kissed every car. <laughs> Did it really? Oh, no, not at all. I imagine, I imagine for an elf on the shelf, I always imagined as a kid that you would, like, go up, you would touch it, and it would just, like, it would be sitting on a ledge, and then you would touch it, and it would just go... <laughs> it just fall down on the he floor. He just, like, phases through the floor. It would, like... <laughs> well, have you guys seen that one, like, Elf on the Shelf movie? Where, like, the one kid, like, touches it, and he, like, is, like, super hurt and stuff. And then the kid runs away, like, to, like... Or the one little girl goes to tell her mom, and the one kid runs after her. And he, like, falls on the floor, and he's, like, ugh, oh, oh, And they he, like... made a whole film about it. Yeah, they did. At that point, you just gotta put him out of his misery. He's dying. Mm-hmm. Basically, but he like flies back to like Santa and like gets hot cocoa and he's all fine. Oh, but uh, oh yeah, no, does I watched that. And I feel like, I feel like I've watched. Doesn't he tell Santa? Yeah, he's like that kid touched me. Well, he's like that kid's bad. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, no, like, the that kid has bad. like a change of heart or something. That kid's evil. Yeah. And then Santa's like, let me talk to him. Or something. <laughs> no, a bunch of the all the elf on the shelves. There's all all of these They'll different diversities of elves on the shelf, and then they all go back and they storm his house and they swat raid his house <laughs> they pick up his house and throw it yeah they pick up his house and throw it and then they're like you weren't nice to jingles <laughs> what <laughs> now you must pay <laughs> that's what i remember <laughs> yeah. and then he has a change of heart and then he's fine oh love i love christmas time <laughs> and then they punch him in the head and they till yeah. his head explodes <laughs> jingles yeah. do you guys have those like they're like pets of elf on the shelf they're like well we have a reindeer we named it fudge and he's like Charlie, our elves, like friend, and you can actually like touch that one, like you can touch the reindeer. No. Yeah, and like you're supposed to like sleep with him, and then like I guess a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my gosh, no. Okay, and you're supposed to like sleep with it as like a stuffed animal, and then that, like charges his little heart on his oh, chest. Oh, that's and, like, cute. That seems nice. Yeah, and then he can fly Santa's sleigh to your Aww. house. Oh, well, I never did that, and Santa never came to my house. <laughs> the reindeer never were able to bring Santa to my house. Because I, I never always, slept with a reindeer. Well, I always thought we don't, like, obviously, we don't have one of them, like, brick chimneys. So I'm like, how does yeah, Santa yeah. get into my house? So would we. I was so confused. And mom was like, he's the front door. <laughs> yeah, my mom was like, he like he doesn't have to. He could just go through the front door. Yeah. We had a chimney in our house, but it wasn't, like, usable, I guess, because we didn't use it. But it was in the middle of our stairs going down to the basement, right? It was oh, at yeah. the Like, at the end, and it was, like, right in the middle. And Elizabeth and I would have this game that we'd jump down the stairs and see how many steps that we can jump yeah, down. Yeah. You know, we all did yeah, that as kids. Yeah. Well, one day, when I was little, I jumped down the stairs, and I ran into the chimney. There's the bell. Oh, there's the bell. Well, we ought to go. Thanks Bye. for podcasting. Thanks Thank for you. having me. We're You're gonna very transition. welcome. We're going to do some rotating wheel of people in journalism. Yeah, Anywho, wheel of fortune. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for your podcast. Appreciate it. Have Oops. fun with... Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> have fun with... Christmas. I will. Have a holly jolly merry. Hey, Howdy. fellas and fellas. Hello. Welcome to the journalism office. We're going to call it a journalism office. Welcome to Santa's workshop, yeah. where hot cocoa <laughs> rains from the sky and the snow is made of snow. I'm Jack. I'm Quinlan. I'm Jackson. We're going to do. Ooh. We're going to do what we did. For Thanksgiving, but this one's going to be in a normal episode and instead it's of a goof be off about Christmas. And it's going to be about Christmas. So it makes it better. It's yeah, better. Exactly. Yeah, basically, it's not going to be it's about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, but you get white elephant and presents. Yeah, yeah, Jackson, is is Christmas better than Thanksgiving? For sure, hundred percent. It is Thanksgiving, just better. Just it, with a jolly man. Is yeah. it the? Is it your top holiday? Uh, probably. I'd say one of them. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. That's pretty pretty interesting. Before or behind National Fig Week? Yeah, before or behind. National Fig Week. Yeah. National Fig Week. You, someone doesn't listen to the podcast. I'll tell you that. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. well, I'm pretty big fig guy. I do like my figs, but you actually like figs. I've had them from time to time. They are bad. I've never had a fig. You ever had a fig? No, You've I've ever had, had them? With, like you get them in those bags, you know. You get them at like a corner store, and they have like powdered yeah, sugar grandpa, on them. My grandpa eat like a million. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I've. I have, have you even seen the fig? I've celebrated my weeks, but I've never... You've never enjoyed I don't think I've ever enjoyed a fig. never delved into a fig? I've never delved into a fig, no. More like a fig delved into you, because you eat it. <laughs> sure, yeah, whatever. Sure. Peyton, what do you do for Christmas? What's your? What are your normal plans of Christmas? Uh, I go to my mom's on, like, the day before Christmas, and then I go to my dad's for the morning of Christmas. 
Because, you know, yeah, and parents are separate. I don't want to be that guy, but both you and Jackson, Quinlan, mm-hmm. what's it like having two Christmases? <laughs> I'm leaving the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, don't want to be that guy. Oh, I am. Oh, it's honestly, it's pretty fire. I'm permanently emotionally distraught from that question. It's pretty fire, you know. It's. I have to agree with him. It's pretty awesome. I go to... <laughs> like, okay, obviously, it's not optimal to have divorced parents. <laughs> it's not optimal. So you have to look at the ups and downs. Well, and having two Christmases, that's that a pretty is, big up. That is a, <laughs> it's a pretty big up. And both of my parents are pretty fire, you know. I go to my mom's house, an acreage, you go out, play outside in the snow, go inside, have some hot cocoa, and then open Christmas presents at my dad's. It's the morning, wake up. Open Christmas presents and then play Fortnite all day. <laughs> yeah, that's how I like to spend my Christmas. It's awesome. <laughs> Getting the battle pass. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Well, now and now in Fortnite, there's Peter Griffin. Yeah, Did you know okay. that. That's that's no. There's enough. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that's you can Fortnite talk. You can be <laughs> Santa in Ninja Turtles. There's Legos. This is about there's Christmas. Legos. Fortnite is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back I to got, Christmas. I got the fifty dollar. Oh, freaking battle pass gift card for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So you're, mo- yeah, so yeah, your mom's Christmas Eve and your dad's Christmas day Mor- morning. Yeah, day morning yeah. day. Yeah. What uh, do you go? Do you have any big old family gatherings around? Um. So on my dad's side, we'd go like in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we kind of combine them for a big fa- oh, family yeah. gathering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's about it for fam. Well, we'll go to our grandma's too on our my mom's side and on my stepdad's side. On my stepdad's side, we have fish fries. Oh, and what? Yeah, like you fry fish and it's so yeah. good. Ooh, <laughs> sounds good. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, oh yeah. Are you are you a f- like? Well, I guess this is a dumb question now. I was gonna ask if you're a open presence on Christmas Eve type of guy. Well, he's both. I, I guess you're yeah. both now. Oh yeah. Huh. Happens to be. Are you an open a presence on Eve? No, we've never been an open presence on Eve type of family. It, it, it depends for me. Patience is a virtue. Patience <laughs> is a virtue. Just I'm like a, Mama Moj, she's like, no, you're open them only on Christmas Day. But if I'm at Dad's, he's like, I don't care. So, so Quinlan, what's your... Do you have well, like a normal schedule, or is it there, just there's like not a normal ha- schedule? Do you happen to be at Christmas at your Dad's sometime? It, it's just like they, they, you know, they work it out. Okay. Cause like I'm going up to my dad's, my grandma and grandpa's in the Black Hills. Ooh. This time with my dad, and then it's gonna be. I see my cousins. Your cousins. My cousins. I gotta see a bunch of. Do you enjoy seeing your cousins? Oh yeah, Michael. Well, I have a pair of cousins that are not enjoyable. They're gonna listen to this. No, they won't. Those two will never. <laughs> that side of the family will never hear about this. Oh well. But okay. uh, my other two cousins, they're they're awesome. Shout out Lane and Allie. Yeah, shout outs. For real. For real. <laughs> when you have that one cousin that pulls up to the function, you think he's not going to come, but he's just late and it's like the best feeling ever. It's awesome. Yeah. I just chill with Grant at family gatherings. Oh, what do yeah. You, do you have... Hey, Grant. Do you have... Do you have, like... Who do you hang out with at a family gathering? So, like you have... your family. You have, like... I have my cousin, Nehemiah, so... What a you know. name. Yeah. That's biblical. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. So that's on my dad's side. So, yeah, on my dad's side, I have my cousin Nehemiah, but on my mom's side, it's actually my stepdad's cousin, but since he's my age, I usually hang around with him. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. It's been a while since I've seen him. His name's Landon. And we used <gasps> oh, I know Landon. I know yeah. Landon from back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. At the since, Boys and Girls yeah, Club. Yeah, we used to go to this place in Yankton called oh, the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. I never got to see him at the Boys and Girls Club because he is, he, so the Boys and Girls Club is like split into like a younger side and an Boys older and side. Girls? Boys and Girls. No, it's not segregated from Boys and Girls. No. It's segregated from age. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. he's like a year or two older than me and he's always on the older side. And I was, could never see him. But, but, but you can like, at family gatherings. Oh, yeah. And we, we were tight. Like two peas in a pod. Two, two peas in a pod. Like peas and carrots. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. Me and Landon were like two peas in a pod, and me and Nemo were like two fish on a skillet. <laughs> how do you... Wait, how do you shorten Nehemiah? Nemo. Nemo? Yeah. That's amazing. Nemo. I love that a lot, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fire. Quinlan, who do you hang out at a family gathering? Oh. Just Liam? Well, no. Well, it depends. The Shagster? 
I hang out with Shagster sometimes. Shagarius. Uh, well, usually. Shagarius? Yeah. It'll be. Shania Twain? Me, uh. Liam, and Lane, my cousin. And then Allie sometimes hangs out with us, too. Well, because Lane just graduated last year. So he's, like, a little older, but, you know, it's, it's still only in the general yeah, in that age realm. Range. Yeah. Are you in the, like, younger sector of of like cousins oh no i'm in like the older sector mm. Mm. Te- i guess technically on my dad's side I'm, I'm in the younger well kind of kind of i guess i'm in the younger because it's lane ali liam me and i have i don't even remember his name like but he's like a real young one yeah. mm. like on my mom or on my yeah on my stepdad's side it's like landon then me and then everyone else and then on my mom's side, I'm the oldest. Oh. On my dad's side, it's uh, it's me, Nemo, his younger sister, Sakara, dope and then name. everyone else. Yeah, they have dope names. And then on my stepmom's side, I don't really know any of them. Because, hmm. you know. Yeah, it happens to be. Yeah. In, in my family, there's like, there's cut in the, on the Schieffer side, me and Grant, there's like cousins and the we're in the younger bit because the older cousins are like, well, we're in the younger bit of cousins, but we're not the youngest there because the older cousins are having kids now. Oh, or they have yeah. been having kids. So like, like yeah. second cousins or like first cousins once removed is what they are. Oh, I don't even know what that means. I know all about my, my cousin's kid is my first cousin once removed. Why? You ain't removing them from the family. No, but that's just the terminology. Why? I don't know. That's just the terminology. I think oh, it's the first uh, cousin once removed because they removed them from the body of your first cousin. So it's basically the same person just removed from like the original. You, you know, know what? Whatever you want to <laughs> think. <laughs> I am. That, that's that the most. Be. I hate that stuff. Okay. Well, there. Okay. My cousin. Mm-hmm. I share a grandparent with. Yeah. Second yeah. cousin. You share a great grandparent with. <laughs> Third cousin. Double great grandparent. Yeah, but. And so on and so forth. I like I know they can't call it like a second cousin. But why call it first remove? You ain't you aren't like chopping them out the family. I don't know. Maybe you just call them like You aren't chopping them off the branch of the family. First tree. cousin once younger generation. That's yeah. just that that doesn't roll yeah. off the tongue. First cousin kid. That first is kind cousin of, kid you number just call two. Call them little cousins essentially. Yeah. yeah. Little cuz. Little cuz. Little cuz. Hey little cuz, but then little like little he cause. can't the those little those kids they can't look at me and be like, "What up, little cuz?" They call you Big Cuz. Big Cuz? I'm Big Cuz. That sounds like... That could be my rapper name. <laughs> big Cuz. What's up, I'm Biggie Big Cuz. Biggie Cuz. <laughs> Lil Cuz. Lil Cuz. Might be Mr. Mo- Mr. Lamont. Mr. Lamont. <laughs> <laughs> you walk it. Not just Lamont. Mr. Mr. Lamont. Mr. Lamont. Big Nemo. Big, big Nemo. Nehemiah. Oh, that'd be dope. Big Nemo. That'd be Le- incredible. Biggie Nemo. Biggie Nehemiah. Big Nemo. Oh yeah, Ugh. that's giving me like Nipsey Hussle, Lil Sakara. <laughs> Ooh, that's fire. Lil Sakara. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask everybody this because I've asked everyone and oh, never mind. I, we didn't ask Sophia this. Uh, what What's your favorite Christmas song? Or you got any Christmas wrecks? Um, I'd say Tyler the Creator's Christmas album. Oh, I'm the Grinch. You know that song by Tyler the Creator? Like from the soundtrack of yeah. the Illuminations, The Grinch. Yeah, that song goes hard. But like, if it's like traditional. Mm-hmm. What's the Spanish one? Feliz Navidad. Feliz oh, Navidad. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. probably my favorite. Like That's I remember, and I always listen to the Taco John's remix. There's a Taco John's oh, remix yeah. of Feliz yeah. Navidad. Whenever the Taco goes, John's yeah. commercial came on during Christmas, you saw me freaking singing to that banger. Get jiggy with it. Yeah. <laughs> my I'm, I'm like four years old, going Feliz Navidad. And you know, it's <laughs> like. And then <laughs> I'd say my least favorite is All I Want for Christmas is You. Really? You overplayed. don't like it? Overplayed. Oh, I, I understand that it's like, overplayed. Right after like right after Halloween, it's just like you have to yeah. lock That's up your doors, you board up your yeah. windows. Mariah Carey unmelts and says, yeah. it's time. Unless you live yeah. in the basement for yeah. Yeah. until like, Christmas is over. Yeah, until yeah. January at least. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. But it's still a banger. That's, I still like it. Those backup singers. Good. And I... Yeah. They're, they're going for it. Oh, yeah. It's good. But I, I respect your opinion on that one. Yeah, I think that's valid. That's okay. That's yeah. understandable. Yeah. I think it's about time to boot you off. 
get somebody else in here. Yeah, for get whoever. out of here. Right, wait, one more question. Uh, one more question. What's what are y'all's favorite Christmas food? Christmas food? Yeah. Um, I mean, our Christmas food is basically just Thanksgiving food. I like eating wrapping paper. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, it's like I'd say my favorite like main meal is probably my when my grandpa like my stepdad's dad and my stepdad's sister's husband they'll make fish fry and then on my dad's side there's this dessert where it's like little cookies and cream bonbons oh that sounds amazing that does sound really good and it's so good and then and for my uh entree like like my grandma makes homemade chicken noodle like homemade Whoa. everything homemade noodles and homemade all that noodles and all wow yeah it's so good like, I like myself all the a- Christmas ham. Yeah. All the vegetables Ooh, are like straight from her garden. And it's wow. So good. She's I just chefing that. it up in there. Oh, yeah. She's a freaking Gordon Ra- Ramsay ain't got Gordon Ramsay doesn't grow his own noodles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. So. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay doesn't grow his own bulls now, does he? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. So. I don't see him picking Gordon. his forks off the tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gordon. Freaking Gordon. With your yeah. donuts. We're yeah. Don't shout out. Unshout out Gordon Ramsay. Anti yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll I'll get out of your hair. All right. We'll All see right. who else wants to be on the podcast. So long, Quinn and Jack. See you in another lifetime. Yeah, hey, Jackson. Hey, who wants to be on the podcast? Lila, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm a sophomore. My name's Layla Barda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are your Christmas plans? I have three Christmases to go to. Three? What? what? Yeah. Why do you have three Christmases? I go to my mom's side of the family, and then I go to my dad's side of my side of the family, and then I go to my stepdad's side of the family. Oh. oh. That's triple sides of the family. Yeah, it is. I don't want to ask you which side of the family is better. But my which mom's. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Glossing over that. Which side of the family has better food? My mom's. Wow. Yeah. So that's what takes the cake. Yeah. Yes. Literally. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, are you a bigger, like, gift giver or gift receiver? Are you, are you good at giving gifts is my question. If I have the time for it, yes. Do you have the time for it this year? Yes, I should. Yay. Yeah. Have you, do you have all your Christmas shopping done? No, I do not. I have to go shopping this weekend. Yeah. That'll work, though. Mm-hmm. That'll work. You, you still got a little bit of time. Yeah, it'll get it done. Yep. Uh, we're recording this on December 13th for anyone listening, but this is coming out on Christmas Day, by the way. Oh, dang. Yeah. So you best... I'll have my, I'll have my family listen to it. Yeah. Tell but them all to. on separate devices. <laughs> all on separate <laughs> devices. All several times. Tell them all to rate it on Spotify uh-huh. five stars. Yep. Do everything. We appreciate it. Keep it running 24-7. Keep it running 24-7. Just give us streams. What's your your favorite Christmas present that you've ever had? Ever. Ooh. Oh, gosh. There's a... There's a lot of Christmas presents, I presume. Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, my brain's working right now. Yeah. Probably... Quinlan, while she's thinking... Mm Mm-hmm. You can keep on thinking there. While she's thinking, I'm going to pose the same question at you. Xbox. You got an or Xbox computer. for Christmas? Yeah. You got a computer for Christmas? Well, the computer was like, it was from both my mom and my father. Oh. It was like conjoined. Was it? Present. Was it? Oh, it was from your parents? I was going to ask if it was from your parents or from the, the jolly fat man. It was from my parents. They took credit for that one. They took credit for that one. Yeah. And then... Xbox was just, I guess, I don't know, really. I think actually, I think it might have been my birthday, but it was like my Christmas present for that year. So it was like both my birthday and Christmas present. Yeah. Layla. <laughs> Mine was probably like, like my first BB gun. Yeah, mm-hmm. BB gun. I feel like I feel like that was like, the start of like all my hunting. How old were you when you got a BB gun? Like ten. I think I was also ten when I got a BB gun. I haven't shot it. Ever? I don't think I have. Maybe shot it like once. I don't know. Yeah, I. 
probably shot it for like two years and then stopped. And mm. then my brothers were just like, oh, we'll take that. Yeah, yeah. it's a baby so gun. Uh-huh. It counts. You can shoot cans or something with baby guns. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Rabbits. Rabbits. Oh. Tomcats. <laughs> <laughs> Tomcats. Yeah, that's true. Um, what is your favorite thing about the, the winter season? Uh, probably like when the trees are like covered in snow and it's just like it's softly snowing but there's like super big snowflakes you're just standing out there and you're like looking at the sky and you're like holy smokes you just painted a picture yeah i did i did did. that's really my imagination's going yeah that's amazing uh did you ever do we used to um go out in the snow you know you play in the snow and you're Mm -hmm. a child with your snow pants and stuff we used to hook up a sled to the, to the four wheeler with a, with a rope, and then Dad would just go haywire on the on the four wheeler. Yeah, you go crazy. What were your playing outside in the snow endeavors? Well, we used to do that. Like we would build like ramps though, oh. and then they'd like sling us off the ramps. Oh my god, stuff. that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's like tubing, but yeah, it's yeah, it's literally honestly, tubing it's, but snow. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. sounds crazy. Probably honestly though, digging tunnels in the snow is like the best thing. It is really fun to do that. That's so cool. I'll agree. Because then, then when you go in there, it's just warm in there. Yeah. It's your you ever chilling. see those guys, those those people on Tickety Talk, where they uh, or just literally anywhere if you go on nat geo i'm sure you could see this people go and there's like seven feet of snow and they dig in it and they make this little shelter in the area they're like you gotta put your bed at like an area above because the cold air goes down or something and then they there's keep that that one like super popular tiktoker he used to be a lawyer and now he like goes and lives in the wilderness and he went to alaska and there was like nine feet of snow and he's like in a day's work like digs down and then digs under. We might be talking about the same video. Yeah, same we probably video. are. I don't know. Maybe. And then I'm like, my brain's always flabbergasted. I'm like, how does that stay up? Yeah, I how don't know. How does not crush the him and kill him? The snow is so solid. Like, so compact. Yet he's yeah. just, like, shoveling He had to have like, a little knife to cut out the... Yeah. We're probably talking about the same video. <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. Did you ever build an igloo? Did you ever build... Yes. A- I was, yes. I'd always get, like... A quarter way there, and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> it's too cold out here. I've never made an igloo. What is it What? What is it like? It's... Enlighten us. It's honestly, like, if it's just you, like Quinn said, like, halfway done, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> it I'm is not work. doing this. And then, but if, like, you have, like, a decent amount of people, it's... And then once you get done, it's cool when you go inside. Like, honestly, Neat. like, if you do it during the day, you can, like, see the sun kind of through it. So it's not, like, completely oh. dark. Whoa. That's like amazing. Like, lit up a little bit in there? Yeah. Okay. So, like, you can see in, like, between, like, the cracks of, like, the snow. Ah. Oh. You see, like, the light. <laughs> You're a poet. These are amazing. <laughs> you ever, um, okay, you go in, let me, let me try to explain. You go inside. You're mm-hmm. cold. Mm-hmm. You take off your several layers, and you're like, red, rosy cheeks, mm-hmm. dripping snot everywhere. Like it's <laughs> so yeah. you're so cold. I didn't need to give that explanation. Hot chocolate with or without marshmallows. With marshmallows. Ooh. I'm a or or whipped cream. Whipped Whip, cream. I think whipped cream's whipped valid. Cream. Ch- what did you just say? Whipped cream. Oh, I thought you said cherry whipped cream. <laughs> it's like that's not a thing. It could be. Who knows? It could be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. It could be. Look it up. I'm gonna ask this uh, again. I'm gonna ask this question to everybody. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh gosh, there's it's a got, lot. It, it, there's so many. Honestly, I know like a lot of them, but like I don't really care too much for the names and the people. But like, uh, gosh, what's her name? Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the rag, Gary. I, I I could just jam to her. Mm. You should go fight Jackson. <laughs> yeah, he said that he hated Mariah. He said he hates Mariah oh. Carey's song. He needs somebody to shut his mouth. He needs some Christmas joy. <laughs> yeah, in his soul. You need to make an appointment with the Jolly Fat Man. Yeah, you should Scrooge. make an appointment with the Jolly Fat Man. I have two thirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for podcasting. Yeah, I appreciate it. 
Happy holidays. Happy I have a holly holidays, jolly Christmas. Happy Best time of the year. Happy Who knows if there'll be snow? Who knows if there'll be snow, but we'll have a day of cheer. Heck yeah. Chuck it on your ears, fella. Howdy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Boy, is it fun. It's a fun time. You want to you wanna give me a test test? Test. Yep, that'll work. Sounds good. You want to introduce yourself? No. <laughs> All right, sure. Okay, that works. Anonymous. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite Christmas doohickey? What do you do? What do you do for Christmas? Um, relax. I don't know. All right, sure. I think that's a good answer. What? How do you go? Were you the child to wake up your parents at like five a.m. with like an elbow to the head? And then, <laughs> no. and then just like run downstairs and open presents. No, really, I'm surprised. I slept in. You slept in? Yep. Uh, I was never that kid. I was never the sleep in kid. I was never the sleep in. Oh, kid. I slept in all the time. I was the annoying youngest. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, well, I'm the youngest. I ain't annoying. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Jack? <laughs> no more excuses. <laughs> You're making me look a lot worse. <laughs> What's your um what's what's the best present you've ever gotten? Oh. How you gonna put me on the spot? Quinlan's is an Xbox, by the way. Uh-huh. Just letting you know. <laughs> Just so you know. It could be an Xbox. Could be an Xbox. Could be a love. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm trying to think. I don't know. I get clothes all the time. Is that good or bad? That's good. I've come to appreciate getting clothes as I've grown up. That's clothes like are the, nice. That's like the stereotype of like, you grow up and then all oh, you get is socks. <laughs> uh, I don't want socks. I want a baseball bat. Yeah, I know? don't want that. Yeah. yeah. You know, but socks are nice. Socks are nice yeah. sometimes. I always get fun socks just because I'm that I, guy. He has like a million <laughs> pairs of socks. This is the only that day guy. where I'm wearing white socks. <laughs> I was wearing avocado you. socks yesterday. I'm not... <laughs> this isn't good Where'd for my you get brand. Avocado socks from? I got a bunch of socks from you know when I guess it's closed now. They had dub ins in Yankton. Oh it closed? I mean, yeah, I heard it closed. It was open for like two months. Really? Yeah. I went one day. Yeah, I went once. What and they had a bunch of socks. Dub ins. Okay. It's Christmas. They had a you have Jiminy to explain. Christmas. They you had have to explain um, to me that. Later. They had a thing. Where it was, it's like Amazon orders that got like lost or oh, something. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, and on the like the first day when they get all these new arrivals, it's like ten bucks per thing. Second day, it's like seven dollars, and it's like five dollars, yeah. and it's like three dollars, and it's like ten bucks for a big old bag. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I got gotcha. It's just picking through everything. I got a bunch of socks from there. Well, there there's a lot of repetitive socks. stuff, though. There is a lot of repetitive stuff. There were a lot of um, you know. Crappy phone accessories. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of crappy stuff, but, like, you look through it, maybe you'll find... You can find some gold. Some very quality socks. Find some socks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very good. It's very quality. So is the best present you've ever gotten clothes? I don't know. What is happening in your family? I was going to say your name, but you're anonymous. I <laughs> am. <laughs> Mm. Guests include Anonymous uh-huh. and Zach. <laughs> well, what do you what do you do for Christmas? What do you other than relax? But like, how do you how do you celebrate Christmas with your family? Um, we just have everyone comes home for thanks or not Thanksgiving for Whoa. thanks Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just do our gift exchange and make a big supper. That's, that's about it. Are you a you secret know? Santa family? Yeah. Oh, Quinlan, are you a secret Santa family? Uh, my dad's side, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys? No, we're really? not a secret no. Santa people. You're not a secret I think we did a... No, well, I lied. We never did. Well, it's not really secret. We know who we have, but like we still exchange. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just get presents for everybody. There you which go. is yeah. a lot more costly. Yeah. And... But it's nice because everyone has Christmas Experience is happiness. 
Everyone experiences Christmas happiness of getting presents. Yay. Are you a gift giver or a gift receiver? A receiver. So do you like pride yourself on what you can get for people? Or are you just, mm. give me it all? I don't know. I mean, I'll give people stuff, but I'm not like... I don't know. I'm more of a receiver. I don't really give <laughs> very much. I'm glad that you can admit that. Yeah. I'm so bad at giving gifts. I really? am too. Yeah. I try so hard, but I can't. Uh, uh, I I'm can't. just terrible. I, I try to be heartfelt, and then Carl shows up. My sister. Mm. And Carly shows up, and she gives, like, the most heartfelt thing. She had her Christmas shopping done in October. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how she does it. And then, like, sh- I didn't even give her anything that I wanted for Christmas, and I'm sure that this year she's going to give me the best thing that I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last year she gave me magnet paper, and I did, and I was like, this is the dumbest magnet thing I've ever... Magnet paper? Yeah. I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever received, and then I ended up using it all for my speech boards. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's where I got it. never heard of that. Yeah, it's paper that's magnetic. It's amazing. <laughs> it's the best thing for when you're speaking and trying to stick things to boards. It's amazing. Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Zach, how's it going? He's just watching. Aw, what a sweetie. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> what is... I've been asking everybody this. To reiterate. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite Christmas song? To be honest, I don't listen to Christmas music. What? Um. Okay, change if it. If I had, if I had. Pause. Okay. Christmas movie. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to get into different different media. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Better be the Craft Warrior podcast. Yeah, we'll, the cut, Christmas out the, we'll cut out podcast. this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch movies either, but. What do you do? <laughs> I like, um, what is it? What's I like Home person? Alone. Home Alone? Mm, that's a good one. Okay, well, we're going to let you go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> On Thank to the you next person we go. Thank you, Anonymous. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Quinlan. Oh, we have a surprise for you. Shut for up. me? Shut yeah. up. Who dizzle on the beat, friend? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 which button is it? It's B. Poo Dizzle on the beat, friend. That's <laughs> dope. You're immortalized. Oh, that's <laughs> You're immortalized you in this podcast out. machine. That is crazy. It's yeah. so cool. I you're love that. It. Yeah, you're on, you're on it now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, look at that. That's, I, a, that's your producer Even when tag. I'm not, like, an appearance on the podcast, I better hear that. Oh, yeah, he has to be in the credits of you're every podcast now. Thank you for listening. Oh. Thank you for everybody. Who dizzle on the beat, friend? <laughs> Just an ad read. <laughs> <laughs> this this ad is That's sponsored the transition. By. <laughs> <laughs> so Christmas. Christmas. How was how You've was already Christmas talked time? about your Christmas. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I have talked about my Christmas, but Quinlan doesn't know about oh, my that's, Christmas. That's true. Can you give him? Can you just give him a quick rundown of your Christmas? I have a family. I go to Omaha. Um, I get a lot of gifts. Um, my parents don't wrap my gifts. Uh, Santa isn't real. And. Um, <laughs> What else? That's oh, so Samantha, funny. Samantha costs a lot. Uh, don't get a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> I pay for a lot of gifts. Um, <laughs> women are high maintenance. Uh, Jesus um, Christ. That's, the, that's so much valuable information. Uh, in Nebraska is a superior state. Uh, like, yeah, um, I'm going. To, I'm going to Christmas with my family, and also I hate my girlfriend. And <laughs> Santa's dead. No, She's I, been lo- dead. I love my girlfriend, but she just costs a lot of money. I was uh, shopping live on the podcast. At the- he was shopping oh. live on the podcast. We don't need much from you because we do have 45 minutes of you talking before this. Oh yeah. Well, I think this we is a, this is good to a good put time. in. I feel like that's fun to put in. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we're gonna keep it's it. Fun, in. Funny bit. Yeah, it's a funny bit. I'm but an interesting guy. Yeah, you're an yeah. interesting guy. Kind of. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but when Quinlan th- knows nothing about Quinlan me. knows nothing about you, and I think we should keep it that way. Probably hey. a good idea. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah, so you have at least a little bit of plausible deniability. That's right, true. So he doesn't know everything about my life. Yeah. Well, I already know about your Christmas now. Yeah. If that's true. If that's you didn't true. catch all of that. I caught it all. <laughs> My brain's like a Put sponge. Put me in like three times speed right there. No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Also, Santa's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Santa. Samantha's an elf. No. <laughs> Quinlan, did we ask you when you figured out the Santa? Oh, we did ask you. Yeah, and the, the answer was, I don't know when I figured out. Because, well, okay. I just don't know. I feel like that's a, that I is a know. key point in every person's life. Well, because yeah. I'm sure I heard it once. And then I was like, Mom, is Santa real? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and then down the line, I was like, Mom, is Santa real? Yeah. She is still just like, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, whenever I'm like. Oh, I was the one to tell you. Well, well no, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> She's not really. I'll, I'll be like, Mom, is Santa getting me something this year? And she's like, Yeah, Santa's getting you something. I'm like, Is that right? <laughs> she's like, Yeah. <laughs> she just kind of figured right, it out yourself. Mama, mama. I don't know when I figured it out. I'm sure I heard it in elementary school somewhere. And I was like, You probably like told Boy. him. You went to Jenna, you told her that Santa wasn't real, and then you went to Quinlan. And then I went to Quinlan immediately. At the time, even though I had no idea who Quinlan was. That's not true. No, that's true. That, that is true. Lying. That is true. Yeah, that's that was completely, that's completely factual. Yeah, that's, that's 100% <laughs> Straight true. Straight facts. Okay, which, um, which which side of your family has better food? Your mother's or your dad's? My, my mother's. Well, okay. That's a diss. My grandma just... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Kurt. Uh, uh, my grandma passed away, so... Last oh. year. Oh, that's but sad. But she made... Rest in peace. She made... Rip. Shout out, R. R. Rip. Shout out. But she made, she made peppermint pie. Oh, peppermint and it was pie. my mom hated it, but Donna, I used to like it. It was good. Seth Pinkelman, Pinkelman, Seth was talking. Pinkelberg. Shout out, Pinkelberg. Um, we were in Walmart. I just saw him in Walmart randomly, and he was talking about eggnog pie. What? And I love me some eggnog. I've never I had eggnog. A, I am a lover of eggnog. There was such a good joke when Adam Driver hosted SNL recently. You know who Adam Driver is? No. He's in Star Wars. No. He's a really good actor. Which one Anywho, is he in Star Wars? I don't even know. Oh. You just need to know that he's a really good actor. Kaya, who is he? Oh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren? Oh, okay. oh I know who okay. Kylo Ren is. Yeah, you just have to say this. Story. Anywho, yeah. he's a really good actor, and he, he hosts SNL. I'm an SNL guy, if you don't know. Yeah. Uh, he hosts SNL, and he's so good at it because he commits fully to everything. And in his monologue, he started playing the piano. He can play piano cr- like crazy for some reason. I didn't know that Adam Driver could play piano. But he just starts, like, going, and then he... And then he's just, like, telling jokes. He's, like, reading off the cue card cards. But he's like, oh, by the way, he's like, N- eggnog? Love it. My favorite way to have eggs. At, when I'm at a diner and they ask me how I'd like my eggs, I say, nog. And then that was a whole joke. <laughs> but his delivery was just Nogger. so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that boy. was the joke. When they say, how do I want my eggs, I say, nog. nog. I say he's nog. going back to playing a whole What night. is <laughs> nog? I don't know what nog is. Ain't Let me, it just like, like can I, just I it assume up? it's just like I love some eggnog. sort of dairy that oh. they whip up or something. Speaking of eggnog, nog. I have a half jug, half pint, a pint, not a half pint, half a pint. A nog a is a small block or peg of wood. I don't think that's, do they make eggnog from a nog? They hey. throw a peg of wood. They egg throw some nog. Og, nog and some egg in they a blender. T- cook an egg nog. on... Okay, from, from Wikipedia. Eggnog, historically known as milk punch or egg milk punch, when alcoholic beverages are added, is a rich tilled sweet hand dairy-based beverage. It is traditionally made with milk, cream, sugar, egg yolks, and whipped egg whites, which, no- which gives it a frothy texture and its name. A distilled spirit such as brandy, rum, whiskey, or bourbon is often a key ingredient. Eggnog. So it's mm. just like dairy... It's dairy and egg. I love eggnog. I got a pint in the fridge right now. It's that a pint I, of that milk. I am just devouring. I'm gonna. Oh, you got. I gotta remind myself to drink that. <laughs> Put a reminder on your phone. I'm. I right will right now. <laughs> you know what I think is the funniest drink thing. Eggnog. I I love putting on a TV or I like have like my grandma's old computer in my room, hmm. and uh, I just have on the screen the like ten hour fireplace Yule log burning. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> but I just put on that Yule log burning, and it. I sometimes I put it on, and then later it's like the video's ended, and it's like ten hour video of a Yule log. My just mom, keep it going forever. My put mom walked into my room and she looked and she was like, "Is that a Yule log?" And I was like, "Why would you say it like that? <laughs> Is that a Yule log? <laughs> Is that a Yule log? <laughs> the Yule tide brings merry and joy." 
Yeah, you have to put that on loop so it goes forever. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's I'm always Holly and Jolly in your room while yeah. the Yule log is being burned. Tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. <laughs> I was singing the whole time, dude. He's over here just having a good time. <laughs> you know what I think would be funny? Can you look up? You have your iPad. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we should do like a poetry slam, but oh, I'm t- but but with just like lyrics of a Christmas song. Okay. Look up like like a classic Christmas song, and and Kay. read it as though it's slam poetry. What's the song called? I'm just looking up Christmas song. I think it would be really funny. So I'm gonna read the first Noel real quick. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I typed in First Noel lyrics, and it says, Song by Carrie Underwood. Let me tell you, Zach. The First Noel, the angels did say. Mm -hmm. They did, they did. Mm -hmm. Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. This is like Mm -hmm. an audio book. People can fall asleep to this. In fields where they lay. Get it? Keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Mm. These like bars. Noel. 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 Born is the king of Israel. I think I only need to do the bars. first verse. Okay. That's, uh, thanks for the snaps. Thank you. Thank you. Zachary. <coughs> Hit him with it. I'm dreaming. <laughs> of a white Christmas Just Like the ones I used to know You know I'm picturing it now It's really beautiful I, That's what Where I'm the tree chops Glisten Ooh And children Listen I'm gonna cry To hear Sleigh bells in the snow Oh you didn't You did not Snaps In the snaps Quinlan You wanna hit him with <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Can Baby. we do that as a fight? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, it's cold. Baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Okay, 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 okay. Never mind, I was going to say I really something. can't stay. Baby. <laughs> it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been. Hoping that you drop in. So very nice. <laughs> I'll hold your hand stay just like ice. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful. What is your hurry? My father will be pacing on the floor. Listen to that fireplace <laughs> roar. So, really, I'd better scurry. <laughs> Beautiful. Please don't scurry. <laughs> but maybe just a how to A1 drink more. I'll put some records on while I pour. <coughs> Keep going. This is fun. Wait, I the got one. Neighbors after might think. Baby, it's bad out there. <laughs> Say what's in this drink? No cabs to be had out there. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight now. To break the spell. Mm-hmm. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks well. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful, Quinlan. Very, very beautiful. I ought to say, oh, 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 no, 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 sir. You mind if I move in closer? Snookums. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well. <laughs> My little gingerbread. <laughs> My little gingerbread. That was okay, another was one of the jokes in the Adam Driver SNL one. episode. He, like, he watches and that. He was like, do you think that the... um. Do you think that Gingerbread Man gets scared when he realizes the house is made out of his own skin? Word. That's scary. <laughs> I don't Word. like that. That's one you can tell your kids. No, don't okay, do that. I got don't one. tell your children. <laughs> I, I got one. Go oh, for you it. Got a, you got some slam poetry. I got some poetry. Mm-hmm. Santa baby. Oh. Just slip a sable under the tree. For me. Oh. oh. Been an awful good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate that. Every one of them is, just, is cringing right now. That was so oh bad. Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> that was horrible. I couldn't think of any fun. Does <laughs> that get off the podcast? To mention one little thing. Get out. Get, a good get out. A ring. No. <laughs> get 
<laughs> Get out. I will move. Baker's I will remove you forcefully. Here. Get out. Get but out. We appreciate it, though. No, we fine. don't. <laughs> hey, Jack, stop it. He's never going to come back. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah he's been on eight podcasts. He's I'm not going to come back. I'm retiring no. from no. all podcasts. No. no. Yeah, I'm retiring. Good. Like, no. turn off. You just read Santa Baby so Jack, sexually. Okay, well, that's the point of the song, is it not? <laughs> it, it, is, it is the point of the I song. Read, I could have read, hey, that, isn't that song? That song is sexual. Probably. Baby, it's cold outside? Yeah, it's very... Very predatory. I think it actually. Is. I never thought it about is. that. People no, have said dude, that before. You just said, "Gee, what's in this drink?" Was one of the lyrics. I He's thought, trying in to my get brain, her to stay. In my brain, I was like, "Wait, wh- what?" Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> no, I was you're like, just oh. like, that's normal." <laughs> well, yeah, I was, I was like, "Huh, that's a little Fish weird," food. but you know, there have been <laughs> <laughs> there have been new um there have been new versions of it. I know John Legend did a new version of Baby It's Cold Outside hey, and it was <laughs> not even John Legend. Hey, oh, it's not? I thought that's that was. Hosier. Oh, I didn't know You're that. You're not even close. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. No, John Legend did one and it was Get like, on. it was like, I really can't stay and it's like, that's okay, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, okay. The, like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is and it's like, I ought to say no, no, no. And it's like, I'll support you as you go. <laughs> oh, that's fire. Mm. It's it's like really He's bitten earnest but it's you know it's just different from the from the predatory nature of the 40s been. yeah anywho zach leave i'll see you in another life okay i'm sorry no hi zach bye. love you love you too guys <laughs> I know maybe i'll too. make a song about <laughs> me and your guys' <laughs> about, fight how about hating podcasts it won't be what's, like that what's your favorite christmas podcast Craft to worry about. There you Let's go. Let's go. You're featuring, back. featuring me. The Christmas Warrior <laughs> Podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Thank you, Zachary. Arch. Pooh Bear. Evening. I want to hear Mrs. Baker do Christmas slam poetry. Yeah. Now. Yeah, now. we're going to do it. Now. No, we're going to give you some lyrics and you have to do. Um, Fun. I did not know this was a naughty song. So, okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. No, not the Tyler the Creator version. <laughs> Tyler the Creator. Thurl Ravenscroft. Did you know that Thurl Ravenscroft is from Norfolk? No. Do you know who that is? No. Well, it's the gonna, one that's you're, saying... You're going to uh, read it. Don't worry. Slam poetry. You you teach speech. Oh, I'm going to interpret this. Oh, you better. As a poem. I'm so excited. <laughs> do you want, wait, do you want to introduce yourself first? I'm Mrs. Baker. Okay, thank you. Okay, give us your best. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Oh. You really are a heel. This is why she's so good. You're as cuddly as a cactus. Jesus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. This is evil. You're a monster, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. I think that's good. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was a performance. Oh, my gosh. I broke the headphones. <laughs> you peaked it a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> the headphones are now in half. Oh. That was amazing. Oh, my God. That was incredible. That was oh. so awesome. No, keep it on. We're going to talk about Christmas. <laughs> yeah, now it's time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so what's your inspiration <laughs> <laughs> i just pretended i was like yelling at somebody that made me mad today yeah yelling at somebody who's smelly and stinky <laughs> <laughs> uh so what you got your plans for christmas <laughs> i'll probably watch the grinch who stole christmas now the, the original or the the jim carrey or the new one like the 2018 i've not even seen that one i haven't either I have not even seen it. I watched the original, of course, a thousand times. Mm-hmm. And then the Jim Carrey one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've yeah. seen it several, several I'm times. I'm a fan of Jim Carrey. 
you know the you ever hear about his um he was talking about doing it and it was like six hours in the makeup chair mm. for that mm-hmm. and they taught him they had like a navy seal who who teaches people how to withstand torture seriously come in and teach him how to get through it because he's got like pounds of stuff on his face while and he's sitting there for six hours. And it's like super hard to breathe in it too. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, yeah, because it was it like completely covered his nose yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah. So, so they had a guy come in and like tell him like tactics on how to get through torture. No way. Yeah, and there's like I don't know. It was like keep yourself distracted, like punch yourself in the leg, like, and it, one of the main it was like turn on the TV, and it was like smoke cigarettes was one of the main ones, and it was like smoke. A lot. Did he? And so there's this image. It's not like a picture, but like you just picture Jim Carrey sitting in a makeup chair, getting makeup done, smoking like a train. Yeah. <laughs> just for six hours. For six yeah. hours. Every time he put on the st- on his every costume. time he t- took it, put it on and off. Wouldn't that be hard if he was smoking or putting makeup on his face though? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but like he, it was just he would just smoke. That was cr- that's crazy. TV punch himself. Those were the only three that I heard. But like, hmm. that's what he would do, and he would just be like, "It's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids." Yeah, <laughs> it was. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good movie. It was a good movie. I like, I it. like it. Jim Carrey's crazy. Mm-hmm. I like a lot of Jim Carrey movies he's actually. Yeah. Is he? He doesn't have any other Christmas movies, though, does he? I don't Jim Carrey? think so. I don't think so either. Couldn't tell you. What do you guys? What's your favorite Christmas movie to watch? I know I probably asked this before, but I don't remember what you said. Um, or if you just gave me some. Blah answer. Um, uh, Charlie Brown. Oh. Charlie Brown Christmas. It's been a minute since I've watched that. Yeah, one. It's, it's also been. I a minute always since I've seen forget it. the name of this one, but it's when Santa falls off the roof and he dies. Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. That one's. The I Santa love that Claus. one. Yeah. I always have because I was like, you can become Santa. No, that would you be. You can become. Santa. It was so it's cool to me. Quite. It's a great fantasy movie. Terrifying yeah. story. Because it's so cool. Yeah. Or they're just like, oh, by the way, you're Santa now. You killed him. Yeah. So yeah. He, that was a little Well, dark. he didn't kill him, but he was like, well, he died on your property. So, so you're him now. You're him you have now. To, you have to do his You duties. suddenly start growing a lot of facial hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he could like uncontrollably fat. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be good, probably. <laughs> it's concerning. <laughs> well, it's magic. Yeah. yeah. Probably Santa's nothing in there magic. but hot air. I don't know. I don't know. His, his, his belly is supposed to be full of jam. Or jelly. Really? Oh, What's yeah. That song? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Santa's belly's full of. What is that? Christmas song? joy and dreams of children, because he eats dreams. What song what is, that, is song? that from? I don't know. Um, well, we have Google on standby. That's true. With a bowl. What? It doesn't mm-hmm. talk about his bowl, his je- his belly being jiggly like a bowl of jelly or something. Yeah. Oh, twas the night before Christmas. <gasps> It's not a song. It's Twas a the night before Christmas book. and all through the house. Uh, where's the line? Oh. Old Saint Nick with his tum-tum full of jam. I don't know. Where is it? <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the stockings were hung by the chimney were with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their wee little beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their wee little heads. This is like a beautiful... You can fall asleep to this. You nice, you nice. Mama and her (laughs) kerchief. (laughs) (laughs) Papa, with his cat, had settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, and I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter, first person story. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw open the sash. Then what to my wondering eye should re- appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Miniature sleigh? I know, why miniature? With an old... With a little old driver so lively and quick that I knew right away. It must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. He, as he whistled and shouted and called up by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. I don't remember that line. Mm-hmm. So up to the housetops the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof all the clattering noise and of each galloping hoof. We're taking a long time to I get know, to the belly. I know, where is the line? All bundled in fur from his head to his foot. His clothes were all tarnished with asses and soot. I drew in my head in the turning around when the chimney he came. When down the chimney he came with a bound. 
all a bag full of toys he had flung on his back, and he oh, looked like a little old peddler just opening his pack. What's a peddler? His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses when kissed by the sun. His nose like a cherry, all wrinkled with fun. His droll little mouth all was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was right, white as the snow. Look the stump that. of a jolly old pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the small wind of and the pirate. smoke, and the smoke went around and around his head like a wreath. On he was so jolly and oh plump and right jolly old That's jolly the last hell. Line in and the I head. laughed, I laughed, I laughed, I saw him spite of myself. Here it is. He <laughs> had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed, ho ho ho, like a bowl full of jelly. I yeah. literally think that's what we said anyway. That's like basically what we said. <laughs> <laughs> he has a stomach full of jam. <laughs> it's like a bowl of jelly. Yeah, or something. Yeah, jelly, no, it didn't even jelly. say that he has a stomach full of. No, full of it jelly. just says jiggles. Like, <laughs> yeah, it jiggles like, like jelly. jelly. That's not even what we said. That's funny. What? It's kind of what Sa- we said. So Santa doesn't eat jelly. He just looks like. He looks like <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's jelly in there. That's why he moves like jelly. Yeah, it I, guess, well, I guess it doesn't explain what he eats. Well, he could fit through a chimney. I mean, jelly could just like take oh, any conform. Form. Is Santa a liquid? <laughs> he's a semi-liquid jelly he's like oobleck so. if you like punch him he's yeah. like it don't hurt him if you punch santa he won't be a liquid but, but if, then you if, can just like if slide he just your sits hand. in your hand you'll so through yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh why was it miniature i don't know is he a small like, guy no no i think they just Does needed a three small? syllable adjective uh, well, miniature. probably miniature sleigh miniature sleigh. maybe it's just like a small Maybe there's like a thing that's like a sleigh, and it's just small. I would think it would need to be very big to have oh, yeah. the toys. That's true. That they has to have a huge bag. I know it's like a. <laughs> I think this bag is magical. Well, yeah, it's but it's a still got a bag. Yeah, you can just reach. There's in there. no. There's not oh, really? eight billion presents in one bag. It's like the bottomless How do you know sack. It's like a bottomless sack. That, I want that. I'm pretty sure that was in your favorite movie. Yeah, that oh, was in your favorite that's movie. That's a good point. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I haven't watched it in a long your time. Your favorite movie, Deadpool two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Baker, when did you correct. figure out that Santa was dead? Oh, that's a good question. When did I know? We we already put a warning before this podcast. Oh, good. And like many throughout. Many throughout. That's There's good. been like three. This is your third warning. It's too late. I, honestly, <laughs> too late. I don't remember. I don't even know that I remember the last time I had a Christmas that I thought Santa was real. Like, I don't Ooh. remember that far back to my into my childhood do your chillins believe in santa um not anymore oh they're too old they're 12 and 15 Bodie doesn't have magic i literally <laughs> yeah no he's not no but i still think <laughs> last year though last year i he was like there was a piece of him holding on to hope oh, oh that's so sad yeah, oh. still holding on and then it crumbled away i think yeah <laughs> and then he just like it just can't be real it just oh. the reality of it all just doesn't make sense and he's like, right? It doesn't make sense, right? And I was right. like, well, if you believe, then, If you, you believe, know. then he's like, oh, it's not real. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he's waiting for me to say, of course it's possible. Anything's possible. And I was just and like. And you were just like. Well, uh, if you believe, then anything. Oh, you know? that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted your confirmation. I know. I just, I, I just couldn't say. Yeah. If he was six, I would have been like, not yes. Real. Yes, Santa's real. Of course he is. We watch Santa Tracker is. every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Santa On Tracker. Google. Gotta watch where Santa's at. Dude, yeah, I forgot about the Santa Tracker. That's amazing. The Santa games Tracker. on there? Do you ever play the games on there? I think my kids did. There's games on Google Santa Tracker. You could dr- you could gussy him up. You, you, there was like a haircut Santa thing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you could like shave his head and make him bald. And there was oh, like this magical that. spray that gave him hair back. It was amazing. Oh. You could that's so use cool. spray paint on his beard. It was, it was so great. That's cool. I loved it. That sounds like an app that my kids used to play with. Was it Google Santa Tracker, the app? Uh, no. <laughs> it was some other app where you could, like, give people haircuts and do their hair and yeah. blow dry their hair. And yeah, it was sort of hair, the same Cut sort their of hair. Thing. But it was yeah. just Santa. That's cool. That's cool. That'd be a fun Christmas game to play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm What's your favorite Christmas movie? You said the Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Yours. You said, What's mine What's is yours? my favorite that I'll always sit down and watch no matter what is probably National Lampoon's Christmas. Never seen it. Vacation. I don't think I have either. Oh, <laughs> guys. Oh. Seriously. Um, we, should, we can watch it for journalism. <gasps> we actually, actually, if, <laughs> if 
We seriously could, because if there was like the last couple of days, what are we gonna do? That's like true. you can't really start anything. Can't have a paper. Yeah. We could put it on. It's really good, mm. and Ooh. it's. I think it's rated like probably PG, PG maybe 13. PG. It's gotta be PG. Yeah. Because it was it was rated made. R. No way. <laughs> they don't even think there's like maybe two. There's very few curse words in it. It uh, starts Chevy Chase. It's Clark. Oh, oh yeah, it does Chris have Chevy yeah. Chase. Isn't he a jerk? No, he's sweet. Not not the not the character. Chevy Chase. Oh, I think I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. the actor, yeah. the real guy. Chevy Chase. Yeah, but it's um got some just classic scenes in it. I bet you if you watch it, you'll You've hear a line or see something. You'll oh, be like, oh, uh, that's where I've that's heard from. That. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like cousin Eddie is like has a huge part in it, and they uh, it's just I, don't, I can't even. Yeah. There's so many good things. So that's, many good things. So many good things. It's a great movie. That would be fun to do actually. Mm-hmm. We've got like seven minutes till three ten. Till we need to, you know, we need to do an outro and everything. So I'm gonna ask. I'm sorry I blew up your mic. No, that's okay. That was oh, amazing. No, it works that now. was incredible. <laughs> it works now. Uh, question: Are Santa's elves slaves? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Do you think? Do we have a cons- Zach? Do you think Santa's elves are slaves? I think they could leave if they wanted to. Give me to. a thumbs up. Where would they go? You think, yes, they are. I think they could choose to leave and Santa would say, all right. Are they on payroll? Oh, well, they get free room and board. (laughs) (laughs) And I think they can have families. Wait, they could probably make a boat. And then they're like, I'm getting my family out of here. Do you know where the North Pole is? They, they're elves. They don't use a boat on snow. Well, yeah, they can run to the the end. (laughs) Of <laughs> they snow run to land. the big wall, you the big wall that you guys separates. You've seen Elf, right? Like you know, yeah. he rode, yeah. a, he well, rode a ice. Yeah, block. Block to New York yeah. City. So yeah. anything's possible. Oh yeah, they meet the big wall that's oh, on the yeah. outside of the Earth for the flat Earth, and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> he's he's an actual believer. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, that's all. Just that's all that's on my TikTok for you page right now. It's just flat, flat Earth. Flat Earth theory. Like propaganda. Like, it's amazing, actually. I think it's so funny. What is wrong with people? I don't know. Okay, last one. Yes. What's your favorite Christmas song? Right now, it changes based on my mood. Any Christmas wrecks? But I like um, White Christmas a lot. (gasps) Are you talking about, like, the the, the acapella one? The chub, chub. I will look it up and listen to it. I love all versions of White Christmas. Okay, so I like Michael Bublé did one with Shania Twain, and it's kind of like that. We can't stop him. He's into it now. (laughs) It's such a good Have you ever seen the musical White Christmas? No. It's old. It has Bing Crosby in it. Ooh, Bing Crosby. And, um lady's name something Rooney but it's a musical White oh, Christmas yeah. and it's where that song came from I think I think White Christmas is you've heard favorite. it because that's one of the it. that's one of the three songs I can play on the piano so oh really Ooh. yes I so, can play so that the, one so the Michael Bublé or the like Bing Crosby uh well they're different so like Bing Crosby's version is the slow soft mm-hmm. one yeah like the traditional one and then Michael Bublé's with Shania Twain is more like what you were riffing it's mm-hmm. jazzy I presume mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when Shania Twain comes in, she does the higher pitch yeah. mm-hmm. part. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of fun. Yeah. I also like Michael Bublé's version of Jingle Bells with the sisters of the, like, like doo-wop sisters. Frank Sinatra's Jingle Bells. Probably. Jingle Bells. Jing, jingle Bells. Oh, I've jingle heard that. Mm-hmm. I've heard it then made into like some kind of trap mix or something. Yeah. I've also oh, heard several yeah. trap mixes. Of yeah. And that's pretty good. I watched somebody do a dance routine to that song. Ooh. It was actually decent. Yeah. I'm a big critic. Of dance team <laughs> stuff because I used to do that myself, coach it. But oh, there's so many conversations to have. We should just have a Baker episode podcast. Yeah, nah. we could. We I'll could. just come on here and blow up your mic from time to time. Oh, okay. yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very much. Merry Christmas. You, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I think it's about outro time, Quinlan. Sounds good. I'm gonna read an outro. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. That was rude. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the Craft and Warrior Podcast. We really appreciate you continuing support and everything that not only Quinlan and I get to do, but the entire journalism team as a whole. Everybody's in this room and everybody's listening to me to do this. Uh, you can catch us on Instagram at Craft and Journalism, TikTok, Warrior Journalism, Craft and Warriors on Facebook and Twitter. I had Jack on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. If you want just me, if you want just Quinlan, go to his house or something. Yep. Quinlan, do you have a quote of the day? Oh. Haven't thought about this, have you? No, I haven't. Uh, 
It's on Chris. This Christmas Day. Yeah. What do you have to say? Oh, it's. I forgot. It's Christmas Day. Santa's dead. <laughs> 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 so. There you go, little guys. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We're sorry for scarring your children. We warned you. We did. Multiple times. See ya. See ya. Have a great time. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. Yeah, have a good Christmas. (laughs)